to the program, the week of the Kentucky Derby, and you have came to the right spot for horse talk. Yeah. <laughs> um, Bet on whoever the favorite is. <laughs> I don't know anything. I- $10 when you $10 and five cents. Man, the uh, I think I've only actually watched the Kentucky Derby maybe like one time in my life. Uh, we used to do a used to do a drawing. We just throw all the horse names into a hat. You throw twenty bucks in and just draw a name. Because hmm. nobody, know. I mean, there, yeah. there's always that one person who's like, I know, <laughs> hey, yeah, this guy, man, he's doing this and that. It's like that. You know who I know? The one that they've been talking about all week. I'm like, this is the best <laughs> horse we ever fucking seen. Yeah, look at his cock. Se- Secretariat still raising. <laughs> yeah, it's the one that I watched that movie. Secretariat? I don't know that I've seen that movie. I think it's like a Disney movie. You mean Sea Biscuit? No, there's Sea Biscuit, and then there's a movie called Secretariat. Huh, I, was, I think he might that. have been the first horse to win the Triple Crown. No. He did win the Triple Crown. By a lot. Yeah, that that might have been it. It was like the last leg of the Triple Crown or whatever. He won by like... You're talking about Secretariat? Yeah. I like, you, oh, but like, you know the horse. You just never seen the movie? Yeah, I just haven't oh, seen okay, the movie. Okay. Sorry. I know more about the horse than you know about the horse. That's, yeah, probably. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not. But one by like, it was almost like 40 lengths. Oh, really? It was like, he's the only one on the back straightaway while the other <laughs> ones are still coming around the fucking curve. <laughs> but, uh, or turn, as they might call it. Yeah. He, uh, that was something that they did that when he died, they did an autopsy. It was basically like him. And then there's another one, Man of War, which is deemed a better horse than he was it gotcha. was just back in the back in the back day mm-hmm. but like they have like their hearts were oversized oh okay so it was almost like a like a freaking piston yeah but that's yeah. like they didn't get tired because uh-huh. they just pumped so, so much, much. Oh, that's cool. it was just like all right yeah well, see ya and get that midget on top of them really riding him hard yep yep smack his ass i think yeah. you're only allowed to hit him so many times you now <laughs> you show him the whip you yeah. show it to show him show it to him I'll Don't beat know. your ass, bitch. Yeah. Run. <laughs> I did watch the one where they had to put the horse down on the track of the Kentucky Derby that one year. Oh, man. Like, shoot, did they shoot it? Uh, they just euthanized it on the track. Live Broke TV. its leg or something like that and went down. They just they killed it on live TV? Yeah. Wow. Surprised they, they did put, that. Like, you know, they, yeah, they have just, those little tent things where they pop it up and bam. Dead. Yeah. Wow. Ooh. <laughs> oh, you broke your leg? Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> man, that would suck. I would suck. Uh, there was a, uh, I have a, I have a student and he has a pretty severe disability, but he was convinced that if you, anytime you break a bone, that part falls off. Oh. So he, I, I don't even know what happened when some, somebody had like a, like a broken foot and he, he goes, is that, he goes, is that going to fall off? And I went, what? <laughs> and he went, his foot is going to fall off. I was like, why would it? And he goes, because he broke it. I was like, no. I said, it heals. He's like, and he just like looked at me like I was an idiot. And I'm like, why did you think it was going to fall off? He's like, because he broke it. And I'm like, no, it, like, no, that, this, that's not how that works. And he's like, oh, okay. Like, <laughs> he was cool with it. But yeah, he literally thought that the part fell off. Boy, how would that be if that happened? Yeah, that would suck. I wouldn't have any feet. Like, I know multiple kids are like, like less attentive than a broken both their legs i'm yeah. like well you don't have any legs that you're nine years old and don't yeah. have any legs and you're gonna lose that arm yeah <laughs> yeah i was uh i was like have you ever broken anything he's like no i'm like oh, okay that makes sense <laughs> yeah makes sense why yeah, i don't know why you thought that or what happened where probably like an older brother told him that one time to scare him or something but yeah it's pretty funny the uh, back on the horse stories i like the sea biscuit movie I thought that was a fake movie. Like they just wrote a story. Oh, okay. but no, that's real. That's a real thing. Yeah, that's a real horse. And, you know, Toby Maguire wrote yeah. the fucker. Yeah, I know he did. He's not a midget, so he must be. I know that's just a joke, but are they like really small guys that write it? Because yeah. they can't be too heavy, right? Yeah. Like we're not, we're not winning any kind of. No. No. How come nobody rides like the dogs when they race? <laughs> like a little monkey. <laughs> like you've seen that before. <laughs> Monkey dressed as yeah. a jockey. Yeah. Nah, I, I know. I'm not. They probably, that, the other ones might eat. Yeah. Eat it. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> you, you're you disqualified. The lash off your monkey's wrist came undone and it jumped off. Yeah. You lose. <laughs> One of the greyhounds ate it. 
It'd be funny if they ran horses like they run dogs where there is no jockey. Just, just fucking let them go. Let if them it, go. Hey, if it ain't got it in its mind to get yeah. around that track, fuck you. <laughs> Train it better. That would be something, wouldn't it? I don't know. What, like a carrot on that thing? Like, Don't they do like a rabbit or it's something? A rabbit, a yeah, rabbit. yeah like a carrot on that thing so you can just see who wants it the most? Yeah. It, uh... Sometimes, like, it messes them up because I think, like, sometimes the dog will catch the the fake rabbit. Oh, really? And then, like, yeah, is the race over? I, I've always heard it's <laughs> Did like they win. <laughs> no, but, but like that dog will never race again. Oh, because like it caught it and it's not real and it's of like. Oh, okay, so it's like it's, that's what I've heard. Oh, okay, that's probably bullshit. Like the, you know, in like the an dog's old wives, mind. Yeah, like the like, dog's mind. Like, fuck, <laughs> fuck you guys. Yeah, I'm not racing anymore. Yeah, fucking assholes. Yeah, this isn't real. <laughs> isn't real. I'm not really trying to kill something. <laughs> And murderer. Yeah, Jesus, Jesus, calm down. <laughs> Greyhounds, man. Wolves. <laughs> Dude, speaking of murder. Okay. <laughs> I had a fucked up dream. Okay. Did you murder somebody? Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, but <laughs> uh, my rant last week about the goddamn turn signal thing. Yeah. It has uh, been a real fucking problem this last week or so. Real fucking problem. Okay. Of just. Use turn signal. Yeah, I mean, it's not like that you're, hard. Ra- you're you you know you're ruining my day. I got to get home so mm-hmm. I can lay on that couch. <laughs> yeah, and watch course. the TV. Yeah, of course. Let's fucking go. Mm-hmm. This is a dream, you know, in that scenario, road rage kind of thing. Yeah, but it ends up like fucking, you know, get the guy. Mm-hmm. And it like Dexter, like fucking oh. strapped to a table, oh. <laughs> full on fucking knife to the chest. Oh my like, god! Damn. Yeah. Dude, I fucking woke up full drenched. sweat, Ugh. just drenched in sweat in a massive erection. <laughs> I know the, the boner part's not true, but I didn't see it going. I didn't see it going there. I didn't see it. <laughs> uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, actually, none of it's true. I, uh, swear. <laughs> uh, I had. I believe the dream. Yeah. I mean, you, 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 and your books and your serial killers and yeah. I, I don't know. It's. Uh, I believed it. Boner part, and I just made a good laugh. But I believe the rest of it. <laughs> that was. I was having that thought of like, okay, <laughs> this will make it more of a serial killer yeah, thing. I'm yeah. like, I was sweating As and had an erection. I loved it. <laughs> it was awesome. <laughs> now, I did wake up with the sweats, though, mm. but it was it was more of the... You got warm. In, in that tweener stage <laughs> mm-hmm. of like, there's no... I don't have air conditioning on and yeah. the, like the heat's on because it's been getting cold. Yeah, of like, yeah. And it hits that... Where there's that no one air spot running. where there's just no air running yeah, at all. That's it's the like worst. waking up like, what the fuck? That's the worst. Yeah, it's hefty I guys can't handle that. He's no. gonna be moving something. I people always laugh because that that transition, like weather period, where it goes, you know, it's like sixty or fifty five. Like I'm sweating my ass off. And they're like, why? I'm like, because I was used to the cold, guys. Yeah. Like, my body needs at least a couple weeks to to adjust to the temperatures. And then when it goes back and forth, fuck, I'm just sweat all the goddamn time. Just a sweaty guy, yeah. you know, sweaty guy, peach sweaty balls, yeah. <laughs> I uh, I was a little disappointed in in my uh, my son today with the with the McDonald's that you saw out there. He uh, he chose the apples over the fries. It's a good call. Just, I'm gonna tell you what. I mean, I don't like McDonald's fries either, but it has gone downhill. Cause I don't think they salt their fries anymore. Oh, really? Doesn't seem that way. They go into the QP style. Well, but there's there's issues with that. So. Like during COVID, like they just made, like they stopped salting fries because I think there was an article on that of, hey, we're just, you know. You put your own salt on put it? Your own sal- put your own salt on shit. Oh. And it probably just took a step. I don't, but it seems like since then they feel soggier. And I assume just because the way, you know, salt works. Yeah. The salt of, kept the crisp. The salt could keep the crisp because it would draw moisture out of mm-hmm. it. Of like, because their fries used to be really crispy. Yeah. And now they're like fucking limp noodles. Yeah, yeah. It's like you have to pick through it and throw that away. Throw that. <laughs> Which I'm, you know, I'm one of because there there has been a big outrage about how expensive McDonald's is getting oh, really? online. Oh, oh yeah. okay. 
like to the point where like McDonald's is starting to change things. Oh, like like things are going back to like well, because in some like some places like just like a uh, hash brown mm-hmm. was like four fifty. Oh my god! Right, it's like hey, wow, like you're fast food. Yeah, it's supposed to be cheap. Yeah, that's what so you've that's, made this cheap. Let's uh, move back to this one. Yeah, but it, it just people freaking out about uh-huh. it and. I wish they would price it to where, like, I don't want the combo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean. I don't want but the combo. But the sandwich is, like, three times more expensive. Which makes I don't no want, sense. I don't want the fries. No. Period. I'm, I'm with you. I don't ever, whenever I go to any kind of fast food, I never no. get the combo. Because it, it's just like, you know, it's like, well, you get you get the combo for $6 and the sandwich for five ninety five. Yeah. Like, well, fuck you. No, I don't want that. Because the, the fries be- are garbage well that's like if I get, i'm not a big mcdonald's fan anyway i don't usually eat there but like taco bell like they don't have a good like i don't want your nachos and cheese right that's gross yeah because nachos are overrated well, that and like their cheese isn't very good plain, you just agreed to it plain nachos are gross like i just don't want tortilla chips so that's with cheese not like just to dip with. it no it's gross i don't want it like that um so like I just get like the burrito or like the quesadilla. Yeah. I don't I don't need the extra crap. Yeah, it's all that fucking throw in shit. I don't yeah. need that shit. Don't give me your gross soft taco. Just get either. a sandwich and a large high C. Yeah. <laughs> Why is that more expensive if I don't get the fries? <laughs> I know. Makes no sense. Fucking assholes. Yeah. Pricks. Pricks. Never love. I uh, I watched um I watched the new Ant Man. Okay. The, I liked it. I liked it a yeah. lot. Yeah. I to me when you when people watch it and then they they come out and they're just like outraged like oh it wasn't like okay. Not every movie is going to be as good as the fucking like the Avengers movies. It's just a letdown after Endgame. It's like, <laughs> okay, well that was like one of the highest grossing movies fucking ever. Yeah, and I feel like everybody thinks that they're like the Doctor Strange one wasn't the best. Yeah. Thor wasn't the best. This one is probably one of the four was fucking horrific. Yes. And that but that was just because the director went a weird went, direction. Yeah. Like this one, I I really enjoy it, it was exactly what the solo movies are supposed to do. Introduces you the new bad guy. They get rid of that. They they, they fight the bad guy. Yeah. And it's like, okay, he's he's this guy's like, oh, he's like the greatest bad guy of all yeah. time. Um Still had the Paul Rudd comedy in it. Still had all the good Ant Man stuff. It was like, yeah, this is a really good movie. Now there was there was a couple corny parts, but it, yeah. it's a it's a comic book movie. Yeah. I thought it was really good. That might be one of the better solo movies in a long time. The uh, like the Doctor Strange one, like you start getting into that multiverse stuff. It's like, hey, I can't keep this fucking shit straight. Like, yeah. you guys need to simplify this shit out. And they kind of now I know like the multiverse and like the quantum mania, like it's a little bit different, but the multiverse. Like, they kind of explained it a little bit. They made it a little bit simpler in this one. I mean, basically, there's just doppelgangers everywhere. That's basically the simplicity of it. Yeah. And then this guy, the Kang guy, there's just multiple ones yeah. of him. And that's basically it. Um, But yeah, you're right. Like, I don't... It, I just don't like how there's different versions of the person, like, in each multiverse. Like, it should be yeah. the same fucking person. Yeah. Captain America should be Captain... There shouldn't be... Like, yeah. to me, the British... Like the British Captain America, that's not the multiverse. Why don't we have right? Like that's not the same to me. I I just I didn't get that part. I always thought that was the Kang thing. Is like he was okay with like when he'd get defeated. And no, nah, I haven't seen the movie, so I don't know what it's mm-hmm. about. And don't spoil yeah. it for anybody. But just based off of nerds, mm-hmm. what they say is that Kang was so powerful because he knew the multiverse. Yes. and if he died, he didn't care because he knew there was another one of them. That's basically it. He, I mean. This one in this particular movie thinks that he's like the greatest one. Yeah. And all the other ones know that and they banished this one. Gotcha. To the quantum mania. Because it's a, whatever, it's a difference. Yeah, whatever. whatever. And that's how this one kind of, you, you find that out towards like the yeah. end of the movie and stuff like that. But I, I really thoroughly enjoyed it. I was very happy. I'm like, okay, well, Doctor Strange was there. Thor kind of was really bad. I'm like, okay, we'll give this one a chance. And it turned out really good. Now, to be fair, the yeah. Doctor Strange one, I only watched a 35-minute cut up on YouTube. Uh-huh. I didn't watch the whole movie. Yeah. Because I figured I got the important pieces in 30 minutes. So maybe that's why it was a little confusing, but. 
I didn't think Doctor Strange was confusing. I thought there was. I I, I could have missed. I obviously missed massive parts of the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I just thought it was too much going. There was too many side stories. Yeah. There was Doctor Strange, uh, trying to get back to the normal place, but was really in love with, um, the chick from the Notebook. So he was yeah. trying to find her. Then there was like the chick who can kind of go through every multiverse without having any kind of powers. It was like, okay, well, they're trying to kill her. Then the Scarlet Witch wanted her family back. Yeah. She was trying to, there was just two. Then we have all these cool and people. I never, and I never watched any of the fucking TV shows. So. Yeah, you don't need to. <laughs> okay. For the people, like, I didn't, I, I didn't watch any of the TV shows either. It has nothing to do with. Now, the Loki one does for this one. I watched that. Okay. There is a, the, first or second post credit scene as Kang yeah Loki and other Loki no uh Owen Wilson oh okay and that and then there's like a it's like 30 seconds yeah and they're like oh my god there he is and that's it and, yeah. and that's that's so you're kind of like okay if you didn't watch that if you watch TV show like oh my god Loki's alive but yeah. you know <laughs> yeah that's the only one that I've seen so far that has anything to do Connecting wise, the Loki one was okay. I mean, they had some yeah filler episodes that they could have just fucking yeah. done away with. But but the Doctor Strange one, like I didn't need the uh, the panel of people. I did, you know what I mean? Like where they show like yeah. I didn't need read. I didn't need all those people. Like it was cool to see them because I like I like when you show me cool characters. Obviously, yeah. it's like oh, we saw like an egg. We saw fucking Professor X. That's awesome. But I didn't need it because they all fucking died. <laughs> yeah. The lady killed them all, so it was stupid, pointless. That was that was my take. I I did really enjoy it, and uh, supposedly the new Guardians of the Galaxy is awesome. I've heard good things. Does that come out like tomorrow or yeah. something? Yeah, yeah. I always enjoyed those ones too. They're fun. Yeah, it's a fun movie. Yeah, because really they don't have anything to do with the other anything. ones. Anything? No, they just, they just own, have their, their own, own thing. thing. Yeah, I mean that's, that's and great. Then they kind of show up when needed yeah and that's that's about it by accident by accident, yeah uh <coughs> yeah so i'm assuming that one's just going to be as good as the other two because the other two were good yeah so i think it's the last one isn't it i think so i think it's the last like full-on guardian now i'm sure they'll probably use some of the characters well, i know batista said he's done it like yeah. i'm in my 50s and staying in shape to do these uh full-on shirtless movie is uh it's been pretty tough to keep this body yeah. the way it is. And I know him and like the James, that gun guy, James Gunn were pretty close and yeah. he was mad after the whole yeah. firing debacle or whatever. Yeah. Well, I mean, but then brought him back. Yeah. But, so I don't so, Whatever. Get but I get it. his point because he's not, I mean, not saying he doesn't do a little bit, but he's probably just not willing to go to the level that the rock does. Probably not. No, he probably doesn't want to <laughs> shove all those. I think he's older than the rock too, isn't he? Probably is. Probably close to more the higher fifties. Like some of these horses that we see this weekend are on the same shit that the, <laughs> the rocks rock is. on. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Which seems like he is like falling off. He's really come. He's really not in anything. I think everybody, it kind of getting how I would. Hey, it's just, it's just too, too much. fucking much, man. He's putting out like three movies a year. Yeah, like, and Jesus. none of them are any good. No. I mean, no, they're not. They were. Like, pick and it's okay to say no. Like, yeah. you have enough money. You're yeah, fine. You're good, man. You, you're, you're like, real. I like you with the Kevin Hart stuff. They're uh -huh. funny. Yeah. I don't, you know, I do something else. Yeah. You don't have to be a CIA agent. <laughs> yeah. You, you can do something, you know, you maybe try something be else. Be a fucking comedy. Yeah. You have, you kind of have a little funny thing going. Yeah. I mean, you're not, you're not horrible with comedy. I mean, it's kind of like the Mark Wahlberg thing. It's like, he's funny because you don't expect him to be funny. Right. Like him and Will Ferrell together are perfect. Hilarious. Yeah. Now the movie he, Mark Wahlberg and Kevin Hart did together was absolutely <laughs> Horrible on Netflix. Which one? Ooh. I don't know if I've seen it. I don't know what it's called, but it's like uh, Mark Wahlberg's like the party friend and Kevin Hart's like the family oh, yeah, guy. yeah, I did see it. Invites yeah, him to was, like a party. He or had some laughs yeah, to it, but... But nothing. Actually, I think it was An Andrew C Santino, I yes, think, had the funniest just, lines yes, in the he movie. Did. Yeah, he did. And I assume they weren't written. No, I'm assuming he just kind of ad-libbed them. Is that... You don't know my last name? Johnson? Yeah. Williams? <laughs> I'm, the Bobby Mudda thing is funny. <laughs> Hi, Bobby Mom. <laughs> That's still the one thing. And he said uh, when him and Bobby Lee did a uh, 
say whatever you want podcast. Mm -hmm. Said it was an hour long and they they can never air it. It's like, I bet it's really funny. I bet it's hilarious. (laughs) Well, the one I just love, it pops up on my TikTok all the time. It's him and they're talking about who gets more black people at their shows. Yeah. And Santino's like, I get, I use, I get a ton of, he goes, I'll get black people in Spokane, Washington. And Bobby goes, I get, he goes, I get a ton of black people. He goes, I get the good ones too. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> well, him telling his stories about like his dad. Yeah. And like, if you gay, I kill you, you <laughs> <get> everybody. <laughs> it's like, yeah, the, about the, tell them to torture. They just dumped him in hot water, yeah. boiling water. Mm-hmm. And, uh, good night. <laughs> I thought, I like that with Segura and his dad, like talking about, like the war, yeah. He's like when I was a kid, I asked him. He say, "No, not really." If I if he killed people, he's like no, not really. And he goes, "When I got a little older, I asked him again." He goes, "Well, I was lieutenant. And I I didn't really work like that." He goes, "I asked him when I was like an adult." And he goes, "Well, I threw grenades in bunkers." <laughs> <laughs> I had that happen to me once. I was sitting with a buddy of mine. He was a uh, he was a SEAL in Vietnam. And like we're just sitting at a bar, you mm. know, it was down at the lake in the winter time when I used to live down there. So it was like it's like six people in the bar yeah. down there, and me and him. He lived across the street, and he just starts telling stories uh-huh. of like you know the first person he ever killed, yeah, and this and did this and that of like yeah, and then this one guy did this, and he's like, all right, man, that's that's what I got. Just don't ever ask again. It's like I didn't fucking ask in the <laughs> yeah. first place. You just started <laughs> saying this shit. That's. Yeah, I remember as a kid, my dad is like, don't ever ask any veteran what it was like. Yeah. And I'm like, okay. He's like, he goes, I, he, this is when he was working out, uh, not at, uh, not at our home gym, but you know, at an act, he goes, uh, me and this guy, he was, um, I think he fought Nam or something yeah. like that. We were working out and he goes, we got really close and you're talking to one. And I just asked him, I was like, what was it like? He goes, he pinned me up against the wall and he goes, don't fucking ask me that again. Yeah. He's like, okay, no yeah. problem. No problem. Yeah. This was just a random, yeah. he just. Like, we weren't even talking about anything like that. And he yeah. just started went in and went started. On. Which, you know, people do that to me all the time. They always, I, I get yeah. a lot of, I get a lot of emotional dumps uh-huh. on me at, at times. Yeah. But uh, it was like, Jeez. Jesus Christ, yeah. man. <laughs> I didn't ask. I just yeah. want to make this clear. Well, it came down to of like, it was like he'd gotten drafted mm-hmm. and he was on. Obviously, very athletic, ran track and everything, and also was on the swim team. Yeah, gotcha. so they kind of steered yeah, him in push, that direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, like his job was like when you know they drop off when planes got shot down, they had to go get the pilot. Yeah, the pilot was pretty important. Yeah, of get them back. <laughs> get them back. We don't have a lot of them. Uh huh. And I want to say, like his, however many, however they broke up the teams, like they multiple teams deployed together as mm-hmm. as one it was like 40 people mm-hmm. uh him and another guy are the only ones that came back and the oh. other guy killed himself oh jeez it's like oh. so of the 40 <laughs> like you're dead yeah like you're the yeah i'm the only yeah, one, I'm the only one. Like, jesus. jesus christ yeah. and that was he said and they brought me back and then i had to stay for um it was something like he's like like a month or whatever for them to tell me that if somebody you know cuts in line at the grocery store it's not okay to kill them yeah I'm like <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a weird conversation to have. But I get it. I mean, it's... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I totally get it. Yeah. Ugh. I was... Uh, I know we talked last week with the draft and everything, and I, how many picks did you say you got right? As far as position goes, the first three. Yeah. You did better than me. I got the first one. Yeah. I didn't get any other ones right now. Because you uh, bought into the other bullshit. I did. Um, now, I did get the Joey Porter Jr. to the Steelers, but not at Thought 17. Thought it'd be at 17. Yeah, not at 17. I did get that one correct. It's not at the right number. Well, you know, I had Dewan Jones at the end of the first fucking <laughs> round. It was like third rounder. Was like, boy, he was rated at mm-hmm. the latest at like a second rounder. I just, everything I read on that was everybody was afraid of his size. Just too big because he's heavy. He's like three forty or three fifty. Yeah, he's also like six nine. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I think they. I mean, it was kind of like that that Beckton guy last year for the Jets. Like, yeah, everybody's afraid because he's just fucking huge. Get hurt. Yeah, I don't think Beckton of, hadn't finished a season yet, has he? He, he didn't finish his rookie season last yeah. year. Yeah, no. Yeah, so I mean, I get it. I get the yeah. it's big man, big dude. 
pretty big fella. Big fella. Well, that was the, well, because that was the other one. It's like, well, you know, like with the, uh, oh, they have played guard before at Ohio State. It's like, uh-huh. yeah, and it was Stop. really fucking shitty. Stop. They're too big for guard. Yes, they're tackles. You can't be fucking 6'8 in a guard. You're not that's, getting that's underneath. That's more of a. Yeah, you're not pad. Your pad level's off. Yeah, like, stop wonder, it. What do I? He, that freaking nose guard keeps getting under him. Like, yeah, no <laughs> yeah, shit. It's, it's just natural. Guy's helmet inside his dick. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to quarterback sneak with that in Philly. Yeah, sure, exactly. Fucking, hey, we need you to get get low. We're gonna quarterback sneak. I, I'm six eight. <laughs> what are you fucking talking about? My low is six <laughs> three. <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's uh. It was a, uh, the first round was fun to watch just from the, uh, a lot of movement. And yeah. I, that was, and that was, I know we had talked about that on the show. Like we didn't think there was going to be any movement. Well, then that was the thing too of after we did that show, I went home and was watching it mm-hmm. like, um, on Wednesday. And I think it was like Thursday. Yeah. I'd have been watching like McAfee show or whatever. Yeah. When Jer- Daniel Jeremiah came on and that was his prediction was that the Texans would trade back into three and take. Oh, seriously. He had that correct. Nice. Like, nice. What the? Yeah, I would. Because when he said that, he's like, eh, you know, this is just kind of a fun thing, but it would make sense if they would do this. Yeah. And then. Boom. Hey, happened. That happened. How about that? Hey, I, that's good for them. I mean, I, I know now if they didn't have two number ones next year, yeah. it would have been stupid. Yeah. That the fact that they still have a number one yeah. for next year is is nice. But. uh but yeah, you get you get your quarterback and you get the best defender in the draft. It's like, huh? Eh, well, because that was a funny thing. Because the prediction of next year is that the Cardinals are going to fucking suck. Yeah, and the Texans and the are gonna Texans suck. that the Cardinals have the one, one. and two pick. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know what? Draft both those quarterbacks and then just start. Tra- yeah, who you want? Who you want? Who you want? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was that was something. I I thought the uh, an interesting pick was um first round pick interesting a couple of the, there were some reaches i thought in the first round yeah. and um I, I, well, I don't know outside of like once you get past 10 i don't know that there was any reaches because that was the consensus of everybody of like yeah. hey there's like 12 first rounders and everybody else just, just i yeah maybe don't trade up too much i thought jameer gibbs going that high was kind of was that odd was, that was yeah was strange mainly just because the running back yeah and I thought Jack Campbell going in the first round was kind of weird too. Now he yeah he fits what they want. I mean that style that that grittiness, um, fits Detroit what they want to do. But you also already have like two three other linebackers under contract, and he's going to come in and start. So it's going to shuffle some things around. Um, I thought they needed more D line depth. To be honest with you, yeah. Um. But uh, the other one was I thought the the Packers with the dude from Iowa I thought that not that he's not good I just thought that was a bit of a a stretch for them and they still stuck to their guns I honestly thought they were going to take receiver but they uh, they didn't so I guess uh, I guess it wasn't I guess it wasn't because of Aaron Rodgers <laughs> I guess they weren't trying to spite him yeah yeah that was the the one that made the most sense is um. The Patriots dropping back to 17 and getting the corner mm-hmm. that was supposed to not even be there yeah. out of, after like eight. Mm-hmm. He was already supposed to be off the board. The Gonzalez guy? Yeah. 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 Got everybody's number one corner. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. The, okay. Yeah. Good pick. <laughs> good pick by them. The. Oh, Mel. Uh... Shit. What was I going to say? Oh, the I thought the the Bengals getting the guy um, Murphy as late as they did. I thought that was yeah. a, that was I thought that was interesting. I didn't think he was gonna fall that Last far. That far, yeah. They went uh, heavy on the defense, obviously in the back end, which mm-hmm. was hundred percent necessary. Needed. Just like we talked though, I just thought it was weird that they they didn't draft any offensive linemen. Yeah, because I don't understand. I mean, are they gonna? I'm, it just makes sense to cut Lael Collins, but maybe they just bring him back. Yeah, I mean, maybe. Maybe they think maybe he's healthy enough to come back and figure. Hey, we got you know, got a stud left, mm-hmm. and if you can just give us a year on the right, then the, if that, because actually, Leo Collins was kind of the weak link in that line when he got yeah. sacked a lot of times. It came from his side, yeah. but it's going to. 
Yeah. That's I mean, he's not he's not supposed to be your best pat now he should yeah. be because that's what we that's that's today's football. Right. But your right tackle's not really supposed to be your best blocker. Right. Um But that kinda mixes in too of like with the Bengals wise of like a lot of that is when you have Joe Mixon yes. and you want to throw on first and second down. Another like a Saquon Barkley or whatever is mm-hmm. gonna pick up and chip that guy up, yeah. you know. Yes. Like and that's just not mm-hmm. that's just not Joe Mixon's game. Yeah, exactly. Um, looking at the first round. The the fact that Jalen Carter fell to nine and the Eagles traded back. Yeah. I thought I was like, Phew. God, they got lucky on that one. Man. And they just did you so there was a uh a stat. Every Georgia player got drafted in the state of Pennsylvania. Oh, did they? Yes. <laughs> they either went to Pittsburgh or Philly. Everyone that was available to be drafted. That's that's great. I mean, that's funny, but it's because Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, and Keely Ringo all went to Philly. Darnell yeah. Washington went to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Just, oh, and the and the tackle went to Pittsburgh. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, Jesus, God. Take hey, them all. Take them all. Take them all. That was um, not, I'm not shocked. I think we talked about that. The fact that Will Levis fell, I, I don't. No, that's not he shocking. He was never. No. I know we talked about that multiple times. We're like, who the fuck yeah. is saying that this guy is. I don't know. I don't. So to, the only thought. Okay. He couldn't play at Penn State. Yeah. It's not like they're pumping out fucking quarterbacks. Exactly. I have, I thought it was weird the Titans traded up to get him. Just from the simple fact is, I I personally believe that he's going not going to be any better than what Malik Willis was going to give him. Right. I thought. He might be. We fucking could be full of shit. I thought but, when they didn't take anything in the first round, I was like, yeah, it's Hendon Hooker. They're going to take Hendon yeah. Hooker. Because mm-hmm. you have Tannehill. Yep. Hooker's not going to be ready to play. Nope. And just go with that. Now, it, it sucks for Will Levis because one, his agent, it, you can't, yeah. you just can't be there. No. Like, you weren't a guaranteed first rounder. No. No, you weren't. I don't know. I, Why are you going? Yeah. But it takes anything off of him because now he can't be a bust. Yep. You can't, you can't be drafted yeah. as Third the round, guy's yeah. a fucking bust. Yeah, it's like, not how it goes. Drafted in the second fucking round. No, Get out of here. Not a bust. It's quarterback yeah, in the exactly. second round. I yeah. mean. Yeah, no, that's not a. I agree with you on that. There's no way he can be a buzz. Yeah. Just it is what we thought he was. I mean, that's all it is. And again, I could we could be fucking wrong right here, and he comes out and does a pretty good job. I don't know. I don't think could. so. I don't think he will. I don't think he will because Derrick Henry has about two good years left. Yeah, and then you're screwed. And they only going to have him for this next year. Yes, because. I think he's in that cut range at the end of like, uh, we're not, are we going to pay him again? Yeah. I don't think so. Cause last year wasn't a great year. No. For Derrick Henry. No, so. no, he missed a couple of games here and there. Yep. And yeah. So, um, <laughs> that one Hendon hooker to the lions, I thought was interesting. That was really interesting. Yeah. Um, again, not because I think he's going to come in there and start, but you know, is golf golf had a nice year. Is he the man? We don't, we don't know. I mean, and they haven't paid him yet. Well, that was basically, telling, hey, you're on a, you're, hey, we're going to see. Yeah. I mean, I yeah. like that pickup of like, there's no way he's playing this year. No. no In no, no, golf, no. we don't know what you are. And he might be a three year project. Yeah. Exactly. You know, I did like, I was, who was like, because that's one thing I was saying about, you know, I liked him and Hooker, mm-hmm. but I always thought he was getting too much credit yeah, for yeah, the yeah. fucking offense mm-hmm. with the option routes. Yeah. I can't remember who I was watching, but somebody's like, well, you know, he does know how to read defenses because they run option routes and they, the guy stopped him and goes, no, he doesn't. <laughs> that is nothing. Yeah. Running option. It's either he's going deep or he's coming across. That's, you know, yeah. that means nothing. No. Of like, no. The only reason that he knows credit how to... for that. No. You don't. I mean... The only reason they were doing that anyway is because they wanted to go up tempo. Yeah. That's it. That's the only reason that they had option rounds in there. Yeah. Uh, let's see. There was another one I thought was a good draft pick. Oh, I think it might be my favorite draft pick of the weekend. And I I think, oh, it was the Steelers with the big fucker from Georgia. I was really high on him. 
the tight end. Oh yeah, the second tight end from Georgia. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it was like six eight. Yeah. Uh, let's see, six eight two sixty five. To me, that just screams like Black Heath Miller in that offense. Yeah. Like he's just going to block, 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 and catch touchdown passes. Yeah. To, I mean, it's yeah. That's. I I think he's going to work well there. They need somebody like that. They haven't had a good, solid tight end since Heath Miller. Yeah. They've always had, you know, some rotational guys. Um, big Muth guy? No, because he's not, he's not a tight end. He is, but he's not. They didn't, yeah. they didn't use him as a tight end a whole lot. They Kind of tough to tell with that offense of, like, I don't know what don't the, know nobody what, knows. What they the are. The fact that it came out and nobody denied that it didn't, like, when your quarterback didn't have options to go to hot routes. Yeah. Nobody denied it. Nobody denied it. No. Not a coach, not a fucking player, not a... Nope. Of like, so you're an NFL team, you didn't have hot routes for blitz packages. Okay. You're, you're an offensive coordinator in the yeah. NFL. I thought it was weird, too. I have a hard time not trusting Tomlin. Like I, you know what I'm saying? I want to say that. I want to say that he said, hey, let's just keep it simple for the kid. Yeah, that's it's about not as right. basic as it's it It's not gets, right. Though. I don't think it's right. I think you gotta, cause you gotta protect himself. Yeah. He's gotta get rid of the fucking ball. No, I, I think it's, I'm losing faith in Tomlin's hiring. Yes, I would agree with that. Of, I, I, he's falling into the Roonies of, we're not gonna fire anybody. Yeah, we're just gonna like, wait till they wanna leave on their own. You know, you need to, you need to step into, yes, what the fuck is happening here. Yeah. Like, you got the defenses great. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah. You always pick up little pieces that seem to work out. Yeah. Your offense fucking sucks. It's horrible. Najee Harris is not what we thought he was. Yeah. Or you're not letting him be what we think he is. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'm with you on that one. His, high, his offensive coordinator hiring, but again, it's a Steelers thing. They just keep it in, yeah. in, this, in the organization. Yeah. It's like, that's not how a lot of things and work. I, you know, it'd be interesting to see because I don't, I mean... First of all, them making trades is, during yeah. the draft is... Well, they got a new GM. Yeah. So maybe... So it be interesting to see how that is of like, hey, uh, look around this AFC. We got to at least be able to score 24 points. Mm-hmm. Because the chances are... Yeah. That even a great defense is going to give up 20. Well, I like I love the Allen Robinson trade before yeah. the draft. Yeah, I like it a lot. We don't know what he is because he didn't play it. He didn't play in LA. No. He didn't do anything. You give another experienced receiver for your young quarterback. It takes a little bit of load off that Deontay Johnson, who likes to kind of do a little bit of everything. I, I do. I like it. You draft some offensive linemen. Great. The funny thing to me with Pittsburgh, I can't remember the last time Pittsburgh had a solid offensive line. Ben ran for his life all the fucking oh, time. Yeah. Now he held the ball quite a bit, but yeah. to me, we're like, oh, you know, they liked it. They've never had an They've never had names. No. Alan Fanica, or, or I should say, besides Pouncey. Yeah. Pouncey's about the last one where you can say, like, oh, that's a that's a Hall of Fame lineman. Other than that, it's like, the last one's like Alan Fanica. Right. And that was like 06. That, that is always a weird thing of how they have done it and stuff like that. And, like, the Bengals go all those years being garbage. But have Well, Whitworth. their one guy's going to be in the fucking... Whitworth's yeah. going to be in the fucking Hall exactly. of Fame. I exactly. mean... Exactly. Yeah, it's... it's there for 12 fucking years or mm-hmm. whatever it was. Yeah. Um... So that I don't think that they're one team who they they've never been a team who has a bunch of names right. on their roster. They just know how to get it done. But their draft was solid. Yeah. Draft was solid. Pound the ball and play defense. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Now I with my team, I wasn't mad with the positions that were drafted. I just thought they were better players available when they drafted when they were able to draft. Yeah. They traded up for the receiver from Oklahoma, the Mims yeah. guy, when you still had Josh da- Downs and Jalen Hyatt on the board. Yeah. I thought both of those guys are speedy deep threats, what you were looking for in Mims. I just, now I, again, could be wrong. Mims runs know. more routes. He does. But they were, the whole time, Sean Payton came out and said, like, we're looking for a deep threat. Yeah. Those guys well, do. Well, yeah, but that's what he told I get it. Yeah. I get it. But still. Hyatt was. I was. I, I, I everything thought, on him was like. Eh, yeah. Like he is. Yes. Like he's a project uh-huh. in the NFL. Like he is. I like, liked Josh Downs better in that in that pick. 
Like I put, and it would be a Bengals pick, like the Hyatt one was one of those, uh, shit, what's the guy's name? That ran like a 4-2 and the Bengals drafted him like eighth. Yeah. Of like, he's in that of like, Mm -hmm. can you do anything anything else? else Or can you just... Yeah. And that's, and you know, whatever you were looking for, I just thought, my personal, I like the Josh Downs kid. Yeah. Because he did run other routes. He was fast enough to go deep. I just thought he was better there. And they didn't have to, they wouldn't have to trade up for him. Yeah. And then the linebacker from Arkansas, he was at Alabama, Arkansas or whatever. Okay. Looks like a special teams kid. It's a linebacker. I don't know their names. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ben Sanders is his name. But I the the inside linebacker from Clemson, the one that the Ravens took, I think in the yeah. fourth round, he was like 10 times better than th- what this kid looked like. Again, I don't know what they're looking for. I just thought they were better players available at that position. And then we drafted a white corner. But that was an odd move. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That's a white Maybe. corner. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't what know. What round? They traded up in the third round to get him. Nice. Now, Lewis Riddick had nice things to say about him, and I like him, so I kind of yeah. trust what he says. Uh, he's he's kind of the only unbiased person that I think is on that panel. Like Mel Kuyper, shut up. But <laughs> I like to listen to Lewis Riddick talk. I think he's smart and intelli- and does his homework and things like that. He has some nice things to say, but I'm like, there was a lot of... There was just better players available at that time. I don't know why. I just want to know what you saw in this kid. You know what I'm Sounds saying? Sounds like we know what you saw. Yeah. Fucking whiteness. There's a bit of white corner since like 06. Jason <laughs> Seahorn, baby. <laughs> Jim Leonard's the only one, the one that comes to mind. He might have played safety. Yeah. Just thought it was a weird Well, move. you don't know that the kid's going to end up playing corner. He may play safety. Probably end but up they play- said he was a special teams monster, yeah. so I that, get it. Uh, yeah. I get it. I, I understand why you did it. They're important. They are. They really are, especially because Denver's special teams have been dog shit the yeah. last five years, just like the rest of the team. But other than that, I mean, it was... I think I was no, but nobody's <laughs> complaining about no. it. That's like, I'm complaining about them because I just thought, personally, there was better people. But everybody's like, oh, they had a solid draft. I'm like... All right, I hope you're right. <laughs> I think I was, you know, just watching other shows and stuff, but it, it the consensus being of everybody was like, man, good yeah, draft, good draft. I didn't like for yeah, every team. For every team. Nobody's like, no. like, oh well, you reach for that guy. I'm like, okay, not really. No, the only the consensus, the two p- picks that I heard consensus wise of every sports talk that was kind of like, eh, was Bijan Robinson and Jameer Gibbs. Yeah. That they went high. But I, I think that's like an old school thinking mm-hmm. of why well, you drafted running backs. No, 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 I think they drafted weapons. Yeah, no, they did. Because this is more of a, the Falcons hey, have, we're going to yeah. throw you the ball out of the backfield. Yeah. You're not just a fucking pound it guy. And the Falcons have two other backs on roster, yeah. and so do the Lions. So, yeah. I mean, it's going to be a committee thing, which yeah. is fine. It's, uh, yeah, just those were the only two like, picks that I thought. That's just a route that, yeah, yeah. Is it that a lot of teams are going. And, hey. If you're there and you like him, fucking yeah, take, take him. him. Exactly. Because you're next. If if you want that guy, mm-hmm. he ain't going to be there in the second no. fucking round. No. And that, yeah, so take exactly. Him. Take him. I and mean. for the, it, it, a lot of people I know dogged on the Lions because they took him. They didn't think yeah. he should have been that high. You still have Leonard Fournette, Kareem Hunt, and Ezekiel Elliott still yeah. in free agency. Yep. That are going to be cheap. Yeah. If you want a, a, if you want a guy to just. Yeah. To, hey, to you're spirit. inside the five yard line. Zeke can do that. Yeah, I mean, touchdown Lenny can can get you a couple yards. Fucking Hunt had like zero touches last year, <laughs> so know. he should be good to he go. Should be good to go. Yeah. So I mean, there's still some pieces there, and then Jerry Jones comes out and says, "Oh, it's not. It's you know, the ship hasn't sailed that Ruby signed Zeke. You would. Yeah, that's yeah. yeah you would have already. Come on. You, uh, Come on. Shut up. You want him for a year, and you want him for one year." Five eight million, million yeah, or something whatever, something like that. Because he's not going to give you a discount to stay no. there. No, he'll give he'll give somebody that's well, going to get Dax's a ring. Dax's best friend of like, he yeah, like they paid. have. They're both millionaires. They can yeah. go see each other whenever the fuck they want. <laughs> exactly. I mean, exactly. I would have been all right with Zeke in Cincinnati. Yeah, like that third down mm-hmm. back because he still can catch the ball a little bit out of the backfield, and he's still a good. And he's blocker. a pounder. He's still a good blocker, just not as he snaps. Just <laughs> <laughs> that is still the class of his center. last play as a fucking cowboy. Oh, it was that. Got exploded. That was that. 
Oh man, no, but I it was a it was a I, I, it was a good draft weekend. Enjoyed it. That I'll tell you what, because I've I watched uh, McAfee's draft. Mm-hmm. Dude, fucking Ty. I I saw the Mel Kiper. Yeah, I saw the Mel Kiper. <laughs> like the whole half hour <laughs> yeah, clip. Yeah, I of did. It. I watched it. Dude, funny. that one where whoever he's talking about it goes, you know, they say. He's above average, below the belt, yeah. and people in the locker room like it if you have to wrangle that penis around your leg. Like, he was just uh-huh. on a oh, fucking fuck. zero fucks uh-huh. given of, like, I'll just say whatever. Uh, whatever I want. So fucking funny. Oh, man. I, yeah. I didn't. I, I watched him. Then I got to see him the next day. I didn't watch yeah. it live, but yeah, it's funny. I watch it live. I can't watch ESPN. I Or, I, or any other draft. Code. I can't watch it. I, like. I'll see the pick. I have my own fucking thought. Mm-hmm. Let's just get, hey, this guy's going to scream and make me laugh. We'll yeah. do that. Yeah. I thought, now, first round, I was talking to people, so it wasn't, I wasn't as dialed in, yeah. but, um, again, I'm a huge Lewis Riddick fan, so he can talk as much as he wants, but I I didn't think Mel Kuyper was, was as arrogant and as douchey as he had yeah. been in the past, but there also wasn't you know, horrendous picks or anything like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's always seemed like, oh, okay, they went there, they went there. Was- Dude, I I think what I liked the most over the last month or two months or whatever it's almost been is like fucking Pac-Man Jones has been on McAfee's show three days a week for the last mm-hmm. fuck two months or whatever. I love yeah. Pac-Man. Yeah. <laughs> but the whole Will Levis thing, if you don't watch that show, every time they bring up Will Levis leading up to the draft and in that draft, yeah, Day. yeah. Fucking Pac Man. Guy can't fucking play. He fucking suck. <laughs> I mean, just yeah. said it, it just like that. You know, well, they're going to draft him in the uh, first round. He's like, can't draft him in the first round. He can't fucking play. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of yeah. coverage I want to fucking uh-huh. hear from a guy that played, played. for over a decade. Yeah, and I was mean, good at his position. Good. Yeah. <laughs> his name is fucking Pac Man. I have his rookie card. I loved it. It's fucking awesome. Yeah. yeah. And the the love that he has for fucking Cincinnati is amazing. It's crazy. It's crazy. Mainly because they're the only ones who gave him a chance. Yeah. And obviously he's raising Chris Henry's boy. Uh huh. So he talked about that. And I, that fucking kid. Yeah, he's good. He's a freshman. And he's already six four. Mm hmm. And runs like a four three. Yeah, like he's he's legit. That's what they were talking. He's like, yeah, you know, obviously he'd be a five star. But like Pac Man was saying, he goes. You know, he wants to play football mm-hmm. and like just kind of in that hopes of like maybe he doesn't grow anymore. Yeah. But if he does, he'll just go to the NBA because uh-huh. he's also like the number one freshman for basketball, which would be, which is just crazy <laughs> like, because, well, if you grow four more inches, I'll just play in the NBA. Then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? Which is just one. Chris Henry was fantastic. Yeah. He was in Cincy. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the, the, and I've heard like, like the recruiting little clips that I'll see, like they're like, "Oh, this kid is this kid's legit. Yeah. Like he's he's for sure like five star. Yeah, gonna be coming. Probably gonna be in like a Buckeye uniform. But <laughs> they seem to get those." Well, as he was saying the other day because obviously they went to a visit up there and they were talking about Marvin Harrison Jr. about um like how he he just catches jugs. That's like yeah. all he fucking does mm-hmm. every day. And Pac Man was talking about a, about whatever. I I don't know if it's. Chris Jr. I think it is. I think it might I think be it too. Is. He's like, they just, yeah, he'll say that. He'll like, hey, we'll run up here and see Marv. Can we run up here and see Marv? Mm-hmm. Like, that right there is such a fucking recruiting tool. <laughs> it is. Of, it is. Oh, Marvin Harrison Jr.? Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. let's go up there and see him. <laughs> that, that was the talk that night, too, of when they were talking about when uh, the Colts draft Anthony Richardson mm-hmm. and say, well, you know, it's going to be down because he's got a lot of learning to do and he's gonna have to play you might as well fucking play him yeah and just learn on the fly and they said pat you're gonna have a top four pick anyways and he goes no no he's gonna be good we'll get in there and he go well yeah but if you suck and you have like the third pick you <laughs> yeah. probably get marvin harrison jr he goes well yeah maybe <laughs> you know it'd be you know, well, come I mean, back to dad's place yeah. you know well i mean when they interviewed chris ballard one he talks funny too. Yeah, it's, I can't it's tell. a weird it's a southern but like I don't know from where though. No like it almost sounds like he's British trying to do a southern accent maybe like a Louisiana or something, something. like that but uh, he was even saying like it's not gonna be pretty 
Like, yeah, yeah, they, they know but it's not going to be this pretty. Needs, this, this, yeah. this kid needs work. Um, but when you have no other options, like that's yeah. what you have to do. Well, and it's also like Peyton always says that like, I still hold the record. Yeah, through twenty eight interceptions <laughs> yeah. my rookie year. People always. If <laughs> any of these quarterbacks throw 20 interceptions, they're going to be like, bust. you're a bust. You need to cut them. Yep. Of like Peyton Manning threw 28. Yeah. And only 13 touchdowns. Yeah. yeah. So can we let this let him, let let it this happen. play out a let little bit? Let him happen a little bit. Yeah. It's a different game. Mm-hmm. They throw the ball way more. Yeah. <laughs> when you didn't even play football in college, because <laughs> that's not football. This is football. <laughs> that's the thing. It's, uh, and and every every broadcast does it. Like Rick, Anthony Richardson's highlights are fucking good. Yeah, fucking good. His high. I mean, everybody's highlights are good. That's why they're highlights. But his his low lights are. Yeah, they're like wow. Like that's what were you thinking? And, and that's I think that was the issue that a lot of people had with him. I feel like his biggest issue is. Like, there's a lot there. He really needed another year in college. Uh But you got to come out. Obviously, he's drafted four. You got to come out Mm -hmm. if you're going to be a first-round fucking pick. Yeah. But even to go back to try to get, like, Florida is such fucking dog shit Mm -hmm. as a program, and their coach is a fucking joke. Mm -hmm. Like, what would going back a year, I mean, unless he entered the transfer portal to go somewhere. Yeah. Was it going to help him? What was going to help him? Yeah. He was yeah. going to get fucking murdered yeah. because their offense fucking sucks mm-hmm. running for his life. Yeah. Yeah. That's, I think that's, yeah, he had to go out I and yeah. there wasn't I any mean, other choice. Um, but yeah, he, but he would have been the perfect one to say, Hey, if you had another year, like now it's going to be a conversation. Maybe you can get into that conversation with the other two for next mm-hmm. year of like, Hey, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, what was, uh, Oh, I thought uh, Paris Johnson going at sixth. I was kind of shocked. That was at a left field, like the week before the draft. Yeah. It just started like. He skyrocketed. Was like, he was yeah. be like a mid to late first rounder. Uh, like, like, I know a lot of mock drafts had Pittsburgh taking him. Yeah. Because that's where he was going to fall. Yeah. Like Kyler, that comes out that Kyler wanted him. Mm-hmm. And it's like, all of a sudden he was a, uh, he ain't yeah. getting past 10. Yeah. Like, oh, all okay. right. Yeah. All right. I, I didn't see it. I knew linemen. I just didn't know what lineman. Because uh, I mean, it was such a weird one, too. It's because it was linemen. Mm-hmm. But there wasn't any, like, all the linemen were were kind of the same. It's same, yeah. Like, there wasn't any of, mm-hmm. like, we got to get that fucking guy. Yeah. It's just like, well, if we don't get him, we'll just get him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, that's yeah. just kind of how it was. Yeah. it's You haven't seen a whole lot of drafts yeah. like that. When, when Kyler said that, mm-hmm. of, like, because that was the first thing. It was like, are you fucking breaking down Ohio State game film? I mean, yeah. how do you fucking know no. who this guy is? Yeah. Is he, I mean, is he from the same place he is? I, I, mean, I, I, I have don't know. no idea. Yeah. Oh, man. Uh, what was the other one? I don't remember. There was another one I thought was... wasn't crazy. It was just shocked that he did go where he went as, as high of a pick. Oh. Uh, uh, maybe I was just shocked that the Raiders took a def- defensive player. Yeah, that's what it was. The Raiders taking Tyree Wilson out of Texas Tech, which is okay, good player, yeah. but you have Max Crosby and Jones. Yeah, that's what it was. They play the like, same position. Depth, oh, I guess. Depth. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, your back end sucks. Maybe take a take a step. Yeah, that guys. was a weird one. Of like, one, it was a good pick because. He felt like they thought he might be the first one because yeah. just his build, yes, that length and speed mm-hmm. and stuff like that. Of like, like yeah, that's good. That, I, I, same thought was like, well, you already have, yeah, those two like, guys you just paid a fuck, and you just yeah. paid both of them, yeah, exactly. But then again, you just paid your tight end and fucking traded them, yeah, too, so. yeah, yeah. I don't. That was that was one. I was like, why the hell they do that when they have two really good ones? Yeah, and your back end's not maybe very just, good. You know, maybe you're rotating with Chandler maybe maybe because Mac Max Crosby's good to go and Chandler's getting oh yeah he's getting, getting up, in, there, up there so. yeah Max is a stud he just looks like a guy that would rip your face off he does really does and then and smile come on you yeah. <laughs> some salve on it yeah 
some maize. <laughs> Get some maize. Maize. maize is corn, people. It's, it's amazing. Corn. <laughs> you put the maize on it. Mm. <laughs> that's, that's such a that's good a line. Nice oh, you gonna put some maize? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I, like when he, I like when he flips out like when he gets that arrow he's like I don't even need that poultice shit I was like get some alcohol of this bitch <laughs> <laughs> that shit doesn't work uh, that was an okay movie I never watched the second one I, I assume it's dog shit but yeah I mean it's it's cool because all of because everybody's fucking in it that's why yeah. it's awesome well it's because they're all buddies and they went on vacation together mm-hmm. yeah <laughs> it's to me they did that because everybody in the world wants to do that. Go on vacation with yeah. all your buddies' families and just be able yeah. to be with your buddies. Because all the kids are old enough to kind of yeah. go do their own thing. Is that That's like the him doing that one. Like that's where he, Sandler kind of, like I used to watch a Sandler movie. I'm going to watch it. All of his sequels though is. But then it was like, like he's, I can't tell you the last time I watched one of his, he's probably released six fucking movies in the oh, last yeah. three or four years. I haven't yeah. watched any of them. I don't even, it doesn't even cross my mind to click on it of yeah. like, hey man, you've put out enough fucking bullshit that I'm not even, yeah. I'm not wasting my time here. I, 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 now there was, uh, there was a couple that were okay and there was a couple that were horrible. I think the last one I watched was like uh, him and Spade. The do over. Like the do over yeah. or whatever. I watched that. Yeah. <laughs> that one that was, was a, a, yeah. That was more of a Spade thing, yes, you know? Yeah. Um, because I like that, too, with Spades, with, like, the wrong Amy or whatever oh, that was. God, that was yes, fucking, hilarious. fucking hilarious. The father of the year with Spade is really good. I don't know if you've ever seen that one. Which one's that? He's, a, he's like, a low-life dad, and his son comes back to, like, spend the summer with him before he goes he's like to college. like, sneaking out of a trailer. He's yeah. Back. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah. He has a Boston accent the whole fucking movie, yeah. and it's fucking hilarious. <laughs> fucking hilarious. I was the same way. Like my buddy's a huge Spade. That's like he names David Spade as one of his top five actors. Like he loves David Spade. And he's like, you gotta watch. I'm like, ah. and I watched it. <laughs> it was like that's fucking funny. I'm fucking. I'm a David Spade fan. I've watched yeah. pretty much all of his movies. Yeah, I mean, it was uh, hands down is like in my top ten sitcoms of all time. Oh yeah, he's, he's in, in fucking that. two of them. Yeah. They're probably two of the top five. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I mean, yeah, I know you like Spade, but there's one scene in the movie. He ha- he's trying to make money. Yeah, and he goes and has these like tests ran on him. And one of the tests it like makes you grow boobs. Yeah, and his son like yeah. he gives his son a hug at the end. He goes, he goes, oh my god, you got a bone? I'm your father. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the, it's the Boston accent cracks me up every time. Oh yeah, that was a good one. The uh, oh. Like the Hubie Halloween, it's just him being stupid. Yeah. That's all that is. I, but yeah, the not, murder mysteries with him and Jennifer Aniston, good. Never the, watched. They them. were good. Just go with it with him and Jennifer Aniston was fantastic. I've seen that. That was a long time ago. Yeah, the uh, the Africa one with him and Drew Barrymore. I like that one. That's a. It, it's okay. It's good. Yeah, I don't know. Blended. I think the name of it is. Yeah, but you're right. He puts out. Yeah, shit. it's just so much he shit. It's shit. like, hey, I can't. Yeah, can't commit to this. Uh huh. So yeah, but when he first did his production company and like was helping all of his buddies make movies, like yeah, it's fucked. That was funny. Dude, fucking grandma's boy. Yes, yeah, hilarious, hilarious. <laughs> that was fucking fucking benchwarmers. Awesome. Yeah, benchwarmers yeah. is fantastic. Still holds up. The fact that he helped uh the broken lizard guys make super troopers is hilarious. Yeah, he's like, yeah, here's money. Go go make it. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. You, you didn't watch Quasi yet? Not yet, no. Did you watch it? it? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you did yeah, see we you about it yeah, last, last week. week. Yeah. Thanks for paying attention to the fucking program. Shut up. We, you don't fucking remember anything <laughs> we say. <laughs> no, I, I didn't know if you'd watch it. It's just no, a, I didn't. Of, it's just a broken lizard movie. Yeah, I figured. I watched That's Super, what it is. So. I watched Super Troopers 2. I watched the Tacoma PD. Yeah. Both of those were fun. I mean, yeah. they, were, they had some funny yeah. parts. Uh, Molly has never seen Super Troopers, and we watched that the other day, and it, it was a very my wife reaction to the movie. Didn't oh, like it. No, she also doesn't like Dumb and Dumber. So what? Yeah, she's stupid. But doesn't make any sense. No, no, she doesn't like half the stuff that I find funny either. So. 
I'm gonna let that. <laughs> <laughs> I I uh, I was listening to. I had some state testing, so I was I was listening to. Uh, it was like a YouTube thing, but it was just different. Like uh, it was like an Im- it was at the Improv, and it was just a bunch of different like new comics up, oh. and they were telling their jokes. And I was listening to it while I was doing some things. And this uh, the black dude's on there, and he's talking about uh, he's talking about slavery, and he goes. Uh, he goes, man, he goes, if Mexicans were a part of slavery, that shit would have lasted 400 years. He goes, they'd have knocked that shit out in three summers. <laughs> 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 I, I, like, I had like three kids turn around and like give me like a look like, what the fuck are you laughing at? Like, I was out loud laughing during the test. Not very professional, but fucking hilarious. He was, I, could, I don't even remember his name, but he was just, you know, there, he was getting his, he had like yeah. seven minutes or something like that, but he had some good shit. I, I had a joke told to me today. Okay. I'll tell you. I was pulled to the side to have this joke told okay. to me. This, you know, blonde lady walks into a bar, kind of looks back in the corner. There's like cowboy leaning back in his chair with his boots kicked up on the pool table. Mm-hmm. And she walks up, sees how big his boots are, like size 14. He goes, hey, you know, they say about guys with big feet. He goes, yeah, I've heard that. He goes, you want to find out? He goes, yeah, why not? They go in fuck in the bathroom come back out she comes back over throws two hundred dollars to him she goes what's that for he goes next time buy some fucking shoes that fit <laughs> that's a good one yeah. that's, a, that's a good joke that's a really good joke yeah, I, 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 lo- I love jokes like I do that too. Uh, th- those are awesome there's one I heard uh, it's old and you've probably heard it it's a Bob and Tom joke and uh Comedian was on there telling. Honestly, never listened to Bob and Tom. My dad did, loved it every morning, and he would buy their CDs. And so I was just kind of listening to some old ones, and I remember this one when he's talking about uh, this has been like like two thousand four, two thousand five, yeah. and he's like, uh, he's like two Iraqis. They get off the boat. They're in America. They're they're wanting to find out who can become the most American in a year. So the, you know they go, they're separated, and they say they're going to meet back in a year and brag about how American they are. So they meet back in a year and the guy goes, he's like, all right, how'd you do? He goes, well, he goes, I'm married. He goes, I, uh, I just dropped my wife and my kids off at uh, soccer practice. I'm going to go home, get me a six pack and watch me some football. The guy's like, oh, he goes, that's pretty, that's pretty good. He goes, all right, how about you? He goes, fuck you, towelhead. Yeah, I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, like, I know a lot of people love fucking Bob and Tom. I just yeah. never, well, I, honestly, obviously, with the job that I had and stuff like that. It never was on, probably. It's not on in my mm-hmm. time frame. But then it got that of, like, one of the fucking comedians or whatever. There's always that. He's like, will you shut up, Randy? Or yeah. whatever. Yeah. <laughs> so I'd get that, damn it, Randy. Yeah. They keep saying that, and I'm like, they're like, you, yeah. you don't think that's funny? I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. about. <laughs> if oh, I from Bob and Tom, Tom. Like, I've never no, fucking listened to it. I don't. The uh, it's the first time that I heard Jim Gaffigan, Brian Reagan, and Daniel Tosh. Yeah, was, they were on there for whatever ten yeah. minutes or whatever. It's the first time I ever heard them, and I'm and I'm like, man, these guys are fucking hilarious. Yeah. And then you know, then they blow up, and well, I knew they were a big deal, and they kind of did like what you had like. In New York, they had Opie and Anthony and stuff like that. Of like, it seems from what I obviously, you know, I haven't really heard anything mm-hmm. of it, but they were very, they took care of comedians. Yeah. Like, hey, we're going to push comedians yeah. and that kind of. Mm-hmm. And I don't know if they still do that or not. I don't listen to them, but. Yeah, I don't. Well, I know one of them retired. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Because I, I, I knew that because he was, uh, he was a Cincinnati Reds fan and he was mm. at opening day and he was up in the booth with, uh, I think it was before Marty retired or okay. whatever. Marty was there. Mm-hmm. And he was talking about that as he was picking up the. Uh, was going to the Reds game and going to wherever with Air, Airstream or whatever where they make those because he oh, was picking yeah. up his Airstream because he retired. Retire- oh, He's okay, like, I'm retiring you. next month, getting an Airstream, and just gonna start traveling. Gotcha. All right. Then find out like it is like Brian will have it on in the shop once mm-hmm. in a while, so it's still yeah. on. Uh huh. And they still play songs that I've heard yeah, yeah, before, yeah. like the Camel Toe the song. Camel Toe like, song. Really? Scrotum. Like, that was... Scrotum song. <laughs> years ago, but... Yeah. Yeah. I, I, uh, but, it, but it always seemed like it's, they took care of comedians, and mm-hmm. then when those comedians blew up, yeah, 
they they would come back on just to hey you know when i was a nobody you mm-hmm. guys and they had a fucking national show so uh the first time i heard uh roy wood jr was on them i don't know who that is uh i think he i think he was one of like the five <laughs> comedians who replaced colbert or for like the daily show no oh. so i think they do like there's like a bunch of them now not yeah. just one he's one of them that does it he's funny he's got some funny stuff um yeah, th- those are probably the ones that I really remember of the b- the na- big name no. comedians. Uh, but like Donnie Baker, I, I mean, yeah, that fuck, his shit's funny. I'd heard, I didn't, I knew the guy was on Bob and Tom a lot, but I, I've only heard his clips. You know, I and I think it was like ex- sending a clip to somebody. Says, oh yeah, I've heard him on Bob and Tom, mm-hmm. but it was a guy that fucking recorded. Sales calls. Oh yeah, yeah, and that yeah. That guy's like, yeah. you just called a murder scene. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, were you his yeah. lover? Yeah, <laughs> that. I mean, that guy's uh-huh. fucking gr- the one or whatever the one was, where the guy was basically a fucking coffin salesman. Oh yeah, and he's like, I, was, you know, and he's like talking about killing and then the guy's trying to close them on a call well hey if you're gonna do this i'm gonna need it on a credit card because i don't <laughs> there's one sketch in this he was a regular <coughs> guy who would call in and do a little skit and he uh he was oh god neighborhood watch yeah he was the neighborhood watch guy and he would come in and he was like, yeah he goes i had this neighborhood watch and he's calling like the police he goes i think my neighbor's a drug dealer it's like sir why do you think he's like you know and he's like he leaves at odd hours of the night. He's always coming back. He's always driving new cars. And every time I, he goes, I'll follow him in the mornings. And every, his license plate, it says dealer on the back of it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, sir, I don't think they announced that on the back of their car. He's like, I just think, I think you need to be aware of what's going on in this neighborhood. <laughs> Is it an Escalade? Yeah. In black? <laughs> Is it a black Escalade? Tending out windows. I was just thinking of something. I just fucking lost it, too. Fuck. Sorry. I can't remember. I'm such a piece of shit. <laughs> such a piece of shit. Have you, I know, do you still have Netflix or not? No. Did you ever get, okay, never mind. There's then. nothing on there. I know. I was going to tell you something to, I think you would enjoy it because it's kind of serial killer-esque. You've probably heard it. It's called You. You heard of it? Oh yeah, yeah, I've heard. The of guy it. like stalks the. Yeah, I think you would enjoy it honestly because it's. I mean, it's serial killing. I mean, the guy's a <laughs> serial killer, <laughs> basically yeah. what it is. Uh the I, I don't know if it was the final season, but I watched. Do they I've, deserve it? No, that's like the. That's good. Yeah, I mean, like they didn't really do anything wrong. He's just kind of nuts. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, like they just pissed him off. Yeah, like there'd be like. Like, that's kind of that's kind of what yeah, it is. Yeah, it's kind of the way it goes. <laughs> or like, I mean, like the women that he kills, he just gets like so obsessive with them that. So like a stalker killer. Yeah. I uh I fucking tried. Which one? Swarm. Oh, you couldn't get into it. I can't. I just it's couldn't like do it. what the fuck is this? I told you it was weird. Yeah. True. Did you look it up? It's not true. I thought uh, the shit that I looked up and it was just false. Yeah. Yeah. It's there's one murder in the whole series that's loosely based on a murder that happened in real life ah, to just okay. a random person. Gotcha. Okay. So that's that's the true part 50% of 50 percent true of that one. Gotcha. Yeah. Of the 12 people yeah. that were Hit somebody <laughs> with a fucking frying pan. Or yeah. Like, you know, it's like, <laughs> gotcha. OK. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not true. <laughs> okay. How many episodes did you get in? Um. Probably three or four. I stopped paying attention at about two. After they killed the big fat black guy? I don't even remember that. Okay. <laughs> I think that's like episode two. Or- yeah. It <laughs> was just like, oh, God, this is getting. Didn't like it. I'm sorry. That Franklin from, you know, it starts the out turtle? with him. No, Franklin from, uh, uh, <laughs> that was his name in Snowfall. Oh, in the yes. The first yeah, episode yeah, yeah, where yeah, he's yeah. got the girl bent over uh-huh. and they're just like looking at each yeah. other. And then he's like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You know, you don't have to be a virgin if you don't want to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that line was funny. Uh-huh. <laughs> but it was just like, this is, uh, I don't know. I just couldn't. Didn't like it. Yeah. 
Sorry. Sorry. That's no, okay. I like suggestions. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, I suggest stuff to you all the time that you never watch. I'm sorry. I got to write them down. I forget. I mean, I told you about Shorzy almost a fucking year and a half ago. I don't like it. You've never seen I it. I watched one episode. Of Shorzy? Shorzy. Yeah, it's on Hulu. I watched it. It's not good. You're full of fucking shit. The, the opening scene, you should have fucking laughed. I didn't. I don't. The guy was fucking <laughs> shitting and telling some guy to fuck off because his <laughs> girlfriend was cheating on him, giving underwater hand jobs. I didn't watch that one. It's the first fucking episode. I just clicked on it. You told me to watch it, so whatever one I clicked on the Shorzy thing, I clicked on it, and whatever popped up, I watched. <laughs> I didn't watch the first episode. I have no. I'd never seen that scene in my life. But I, I didn't like it. It's it. literally the opening scene fine, of I the will fucking give it, Jesus Christ. Fine. I didn't like it, but I'll watch that clip. <sighs> you don't like good shit. <laughs> Maybe I don't. Maybe I don't. I like the show Swarm. It's about a girl that's fucking retarded. Yeah, I told I told <laughs> you that she had she was off. <laughs> <laughs> she, I mean, they were upset. She liked that singer. I told you that. The fucking singer sucks. Yeah, she was just really fucking bad. Terrible. I like that's my favorite part. Like she was like universally loved, but everybody that was like talking to me, like she sucks. She's fucking terrible. <laughs> I thought that was funny. I thought that was like part of the bit. I thought that was like part of the <laughs> like. Yeah, how who else likes this girl? Because nobody you talk to likes this chick. Yeah. <laughs> the one funny part is is like the one guy that she's with when he has a glass bowl. <laughs> Just, it's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I didn't, uh-huh. It was like, <laughs> yeah. that was such a weird scene. <laughs> like, we need to need to figure out a way to show some hog in this. Yeah, <laughs> and it's Here's just how smushed up on the glass. Smushed against the glass bowl <laughs> <laughs> that he's got like fucking popcorn in uh-huh. or whatever, the whatever fuck it was. Is. Yeah. <laughs> Did you have a good time? Wasn't it like? Wasn't he going uh, yeah. all Donald Duck too? Didn't he just have like a shirt on? I don't know if he had anything on. Oh, is he? But I thought I he had. Was, I, think I thought he's. He I in my mind, I just thought he had a shirt on. So when he sat down, it like raised up. Yeah, just his yeah. wiener smushed up against the bowl. Yeah, wiener yeah. smushing. Wiener that was smushing. funny. I, I audibly <laughs> laughed at that. Uh yeah, because it it wasn't like it was necessary. Like it no. made no difference to anything. Well, because you don't think about that too. Like when you watch something on Hulu, because mm-hmm. it, it was it, an it just feels it was like Amazon. it's a TV show. Mm-hmm. Like it's like a yeah. Because most of the shit on there is from, from TV. TV. Yeah, that's not no. <laughs> there's no cock on TV. <laughs> oh, I was trying to think of something else that I I watched. Maybe maybe I don't have anything. I don't know that I watched much of anything this last week. Nothing I watched, worth I a watched fuck. the Ant Man. Hmm. No, I don't um, think I did. I think I, I rewatched some stuff. I watched that Unstoppable. It was on. Mm. I watched that a decent amount. I like that movie. Yeah, with the train, right? In yeah. Denzel. Yeah. 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 Um, Based on a true event. Yeah. From it, Ohio. Ohio. Yeah. So <laughs> the. So wasn't you, as severe as no, no, what it turned out to be. It was no fucking helicopter no, crashes. No, nothing and, like that. The you know how I talk about like that A twenty four company who kind of does like the yeah. the horror movies. So there's one that they're they're making. I mean, it may be. I don't know how that. I don't know. I don't know if they go to theaters. I don't know how that yeah. they work. Um, but it's it's got Joaquin Phoenix in it. It's called Bo is Afraid. I don't know. Have you seen it advertised? I, Yes, I think. So I, I follow. Like, like I know I've seen one as like from A twenty four, and I knew it had him in it. Mm-hmm. I couldn't remember. I think that would. I think what that's was probably, it about? Like he's like schizophrenic, and he's like all he's doing is going from his house and trying to visit his mom. But he has like all these like psych psychotic ah, okay. shit going on as he's like walking over, which I find strange and weird. But I follow a lot of like movie review people on. Uh, on TikTok, and they're they're pretty accurate. They kind of talk yeah. like we do with, with it. And the guy's like, um, it started out okay. Then there was like an attic scene, and I turned it off. So, and I googled the attic scene, and he goes up in like this attic, and this is all in his mind. He's, okay. he's like a psychopath. He's schizophrenic or whatever. So he's playing the Joker. Yes, <laughs> but he's like, he's like, yeah. 
you know, kind of like I, I, I would imagine some kind of like almost like simple kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. And he is, he has such like, I'm assuming like his dad abused him or whatever, that he fights this penis monster <laughs> in the attic. <laughs> and it's representing his father being a dick to him <sighs> as, a, as a child. And, and so like I, it, they didn't show the clip because it has, I don't know if it's came out yet or whatever. Yeah. But uh, so I Googled, like, I said, Bo's afraid attic seat. And that's the description. Bo goes up in the attic, fights a penis monster. The penis monster stabs him, and then he wakes up and then realizes that this was a representation of his What's father. What's he stab him with? I don't know. Why does he, why does the dick have hands or a knife? It's one of those I, things that'd be interesting to watch a movie and go, who the fuck okayed this scene? Yeah. Why was this? Who wrote this? Like, yeah, so you, I saw the attic scene and then I uh, lost me. I didn't. I didn't enjoy it. I'll tell you the one that looks funny to me is the uh, the new one coming with uh, Owen Wilson, where he basically plays like a Bob Ross type character with he's painting. Oh and stuff. yeah, and it looks like it's that. Ah, but I think it's like he he just looks like he's from the seventies and it's like recent time. <laughs> okay, he kind of got like the little fro and he's like ah you know painting and <laughs> and it seemed like. From the preview, like he is the Bob Ross, like beloved painter, and everybody mm-hmm. follows him. And it's kind of like like a new girl is like on the fucking scene, and like mm-hmm. she's starting to take viewers or what. So I gotcha. I hope it's like that because that almost like that anchor man kind of thing yeah, of like yeah. I'm the big dog, and then <laughs> yeah. the new one comes. <laughs> I, I don't think I've seen that, it's, but it's Owen. It's got Owen Wilson. Yeah, in it. Okay. yeah. I, it. I don't know what it's called, but it's it's very like when I first seen it. Mm-hmm. Like it starts out with him painting like like a bot like like, uh, like shot yeah. like it's Bob Ross. Gotcha. I'm like, oh, is he making a biopic? Yeah. I'd, I'd fucking Probably watch, watch that. that. Yeah. But it's like you know. Looks funny. Yeah, I mean I gotta uh, assume it's funny. Yeah, I can't imagine him making is that I'll catch those on TikTok too, man, like old things of Bob Ross. Like it's fucking addictive. <laughs> yeah. It's just, it's just like, ah, just make this stroke, it's really easy. It's like, dude, you just like smeared paint and it came out looking like a fucking tree i don't, <laughs> I don't it's not easy it's called paint that's the movie that's that the name called? of the movie yeah it's called paint <laughs> yeah i think you i think you're right i think it has like a bob ross-esque yeah yeah that's basically it yeah yeah, that- yeah. He's like the number one painter and, <laughs> like and then somebody movie. else yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so it's got to be funny mm-hmm. you know, like I know in one of them, he was like, ah, you know, I painted those trees a little big, so you're going to get some phone calls on oh, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I I just never, like, I get mesmerized watching him, like, you know, paint this little cabin. And then he just like, I hey, just lightly touch it. And then it like, mm. it's like, now it looks like a fucking snow. Yeah, dri- what, yeah. if, what the fuck is that? There's <laughs> snow hanging off the roof. I don't. And all I think about is, uh, did you ever watch Road Trip? That was kind of before you. T- I've watched him. <laughs> is when fucking Andy Dick is watching Bob Ross, and then it cuts to his. And it's just like a sharpie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Maybe That's can, a good one. Maybe you can roll that up and smoke <laughs> yeah. it. I love that fucking scene where they find the car, and he's like, ain't found an ounce of semen yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, and he goes, if I had to guess, someone was raped and murdered out of here last <laughs> night. Uh, some of those, uh, <clears throat> some of the blooper clips of like Dirty Mike and the boys from the other guys. Yeah. Because it's Adam McKay is like, yeah. Yeah. And like him trying to just like make him fucking break with some of the shit that he, oh God, that's, I couldn't even, I can't even remember what he says because it's just fucking random. Hey. You guys want to join us? We got a couple of coyotes to screw in the, <laughs> screw in the back of this Prius. It's like, what? Thanks for the love wagon. Yeah. That is such a good fucking movie. Oh, yeah. Thanks for Did the F. scream America? <laughs> Thanks for the F, Shaq. Dirty Mike of the Boys. <laughs> there, was, there wasn't even an awning. <laughs> he just jumped. <jumps. laughs> that was a clip. It was... uh. When you and your buddies tee off on a whole one and it cut to Sam Jackson and the rock is like, aim for the bushes. <laughs> <laughs> that whole, there was a little trend that was going on TikTok. It was like 
people reacting to the first time of seeing the fucking tuna scene. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He's like, now we got a taste for lion, lion. and it's good. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't go the way you expected it. <laughs> You're a peacock. You gotta let me fly. Peacocks can't fly, Terry. Yeah. Don't they, go chasing waterfalls. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that right there gets me. Just come on. Because <laughs> you don't see. You don't Dude. say creep, creep if you have what when DLC. He, when he goes, we're having that argument, and he's like, put your dicks away. This pissing contest is <laughs> over. And he like kind of gives himself a pat on the back. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of gives himself the nod. Yeah. It's put your dicks one. away. This pissing contest this is, is over. <laughs> like a linseed oil. Maybe send him yeah. a thank you now. Yeah. <laughs> I like the one when he's working at Bed Bath and Beyond. He's like, so a rapist. And he's like, oh, sorry. Ignore that. That's like, well, don't ignore that if you live there. <laughs> Gator needs a get. Yeah, I, I mean, I remember watching that in theaters when it first came out. Gator needs a get, punk ass bitch. <laughs> well, you're pimp. No, are you even no, listening, listening to the story? They would pay me money, and I would protect them. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I like the. Uh, it reminds me of that uh, that Meg Ryan Tom Hanks movie. I don't remember the movie where Tom Hanks gets poison ivy up his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, he sure does. <laughs> Do the outtake of him where he's like, where they're at the dinner table and he's like, I had so much testosterone, I killed a coyote. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. That, that movie's fantastic. <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I honestly was, as, you know, as sequel heavy as a lot of things. I'm surprised they didn't get a sequel yeah. there. Yeah, they did Daddy's Home Yeah, too. Yeah, make that one. Yeah, that would have been Dude, the silent fight at the funeral. Yes. Kick his ass. Kick his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I won that fight. I won that fight. Everybody saw it. <laughs> I had one question for you because this popped in my mind as I was out at work. Mm-hmm. Was, uh, whatever those little fucking birds are, you know, when you start kicking up bugs and stuff, they kind of swoop near you. Like the kill deers? Yeah, whatever. Okay. I don't know. So I'm I not just a bird guy. thinking. I, yeah, I don't know what they are, but like, you know, they'll start, especially when you're driving a cart or something mm-hmm. like that, and they kind of swarm you yeah. because they're getting all the bugs that you're mm-hmm. kicking up. So I just had this thought of like, we just say like blue jays. Okay. Because they're kind of the fucking pricks of the bird world anyways. Okay. It's like, look at me, I'm blue. <laughs> Fuck you. I mean, okay. what makes you so special? <laughs> but, uh that size you know they're not big you could easily with your meat hand Mm -hmm. you know (laughs) slap slap it down yeah how many (laughs) blue jays do you think it would take to to basically overrun you oh to where you can't i can't even like get up like they've knocked me on the ground yeah like you know like couple swipe you know a couple swipes (laughs) you'll knock some like how many are attacking you to where overwhelm you to where you almost basically have to tap out like yeah. curl up and just I can't swipe them off anymore oh that's a tough question that's a tough because you're right they're not a big bird they're not a big bird they're not a big but bird but they, they are a gret like if you get they yes, will come, they will at, come you. at you I mean um I'd say like 11 11 or 12 they're all coming at me at once like, yeah maybe I'll take like a couple but probably like that many like, I mean, sh- I'm sure they're like coming at my eyes and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I'd probably say double digits. I mean, I, you think you could? I like seven. Okay, I you know. Yeah, I thought you. I was waiting on you to be like, I don't know, thirty. They're no, small. No, like, no, no. But I was thinking that of like, if they just decided, and I, you know, obviously like the Hitchcock movie, the Birds movie yeah, and stuff, yeah, yeah. where it's just fucking killer birds or mm-hmm. crows or whatever, yeah, a murder of crows. Mm-hmm. But I was just thinking that of like, as I'm getting swooped by fucking birds, of like. <laughs> How many? How many would it take till you just like fucking curled up or like, <laughs> you know, fucking giving up? Yeah, I would say probably double digits because I, I feel it. Because you're going to get a couple. Yes. I think if I. Now, if like there's like a pack of them and they're looking for trouble, I feel like <laughs> I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> 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 If they all come at me at once, I think you're right. Like maybe like seven. Yeah. But if I can kind of 
you know, break them up and, you know. Well, and I, I guess we'll put it this way to add it on to it. So, okay. like, if the 11 come at you, like, if you swipe one and kill it, it yeah. doesn't get replaced with another one. Oh, okay. Like, if whatever yeah. you kill doesn't get added to. Okay. I still think, I, I still think, like, 10 to 12. I, I think I, once they get near your eyes, you're fucked. You're just going to cover yeah. up and call yeah. it a day. Yeah. Yeah, I would probably say that as well. Mm-hmm. My, my, uh, my reads, like, if they're coming, like, behind my head, too. Like, well, I, I think you have to get, you got to get in the mindset of, like, fuck my back. Yeah, you're right. You know, you're going to yeah. get some meat back there, mm-hmm. but I got a lot of it. Yeah. And you're yeah. not, you're not, you're not going to do much damage back there. You you're what, just going to pack they, at me. If they start to, like, rip my back hair out, I might curl up with two. Uh, <laughs> presumably, you'd have a shirt on. Okay. But they're going to be. I don't know if like Unless I just, you're just <laughs> if you're just randomly <laughs> walking around shirtless, just rip off and my a shirt pack of blue jays. Go look at this motherfucker. <laughs> Thinks he's tough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think you're tough guy? Yeah, not tough guy. No, I couldn't do it with the shirt off because I feel like they come out my nipples. Hundred <laughs> percent yeah. would get your nipples. <laughs> I don't want that. I like them because I don't feel like you're not going to be able to fight the ones off your back. But no. like I feel like you can take quite a bit of back I, damage I before you, you give I up. I tell you what. If they come at my back, I think I would do like a jump splat kind of thing. Like I think I could. Okay. And then maybe after that, I don't know if I could get up. <laughs> well, maybe you're in the grass. Yeah. <laughs> you know, maybe a little ground game. Maybe I don't know. Well, because that I mean that's where you get the yeah. Because uh, they're well, not. If I go they're ground not, game, I'm not might, as agile. Like if you yeah. go back, it's you know. Mm-hmm. If I get on my back, I might be able to take more because I just cut off as half they come on. Like yeah. maybe if you can cover your face up and they start pecking at your yeah. chest, maybe just, bear hug them and just squeeze, squeeze them. them. Yeah, pop their heads off. Maybe I feel like if I take one part of my body away like that, I feel like I could take a little bit. You know, yeah, I can kind of funnel them into the front. Till they start like jabbing at my my wiener. I don't know if you take that. A wiener peck. I don't know if you do it. It's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking death tip. Ah! I give up. Like, I've killed seven of your yeah. buddies coming after my eyes, but this one is getting nope. my fucking pecker. I quit. <laughs> <laughs> it's an interesting question. Yeah. Interesting question. So, I, I mean, you know, I, I, as I it started off, I was like, how many would it take to kill you? Yeah. But I don't feel like that's an easy question to ask. Yeah. But like to overwhelm you to like make Stop. you fucking tap out of yeah. like, hey, I can't even fight these off anymore. Mm-hmm. I just need to cover up. Yeah, I think I think double digits is probably <clears throat> like I said though, unless they all come at me like all at once. See, man, I think the weird one that like you don't think because you think eyes and you think peckerhead, <laughs> but ears. Yeah. Me yeah. poking at the fucking ears. Uh, if they hit my nose once, my eyes start watering. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't feel like you're going to need to see that much. Like, you might be yeah. able to just keep your eyes closed mm-hmm. and swat. swat. Yeah. Of the 11, how many do you think you take out? Six. I think I get six. Get six, the other and five, then the final five you just give up on like a m- bitch? It depends on how how bad the damage went. Yeah. Like, how long is this? Are you going to be... Like, <laughs> what, I mean... Still, it's either you kill all of them or they fucking overwhelm you and make you give up. Yeah. If I get half of them down, I'm not giving up. I yeah. Take the other half. That, that's what we're talking about. It is. Here's the number. Mm-hmm. You win or they win. Yeah. You fuck kill all of them. Yeah. Or you fucking quit. I don't think I quit. I think I keep going. So maybe I still stick to that 10 to 12, though, because I mean, if. So like if you got six of them killed, you think you'd give up? I think if I got six of them killed, I think they'd start to back off. No. Yeah. No. Not yeah. a blue jay. Yeah. They'll Fuck come him. back. They'll come back. Regroup. So you feel like you'd win? Yeah. So it'd take more than that then? Mm. Yeah, maybe. I guess. And if that mindset is like, I think yeah. they would like stop pecking at me if I killed six of their buddies. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. They come back with more. I think I could only take. Yeah, there is, there's no rematch. Like this, is, this is a one-off. Okay. The one of one. Hmm. Like, I feel like on a one-on-one, if 11 blue blue jays come up, you know, searching for trouble. How? Man, you think I can kill them in one swat, though? I don't know. That's the thing. Or I do mean, I I've to... watched these motherfuckers hit windows and, and be fine. die. Yeah, No, right. I've seen many. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but, but I might. splattered swinging. shit and guts. Yeah, but maybe I do like a swat stomp kind of thing. Well, a swat stomp. I mean, like, you swat and grab. Yeah. And if could. you squeeze hard enough, their head comes off. Okay. We do know that. Yeah, we yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still sticking with twelve. I'll okay. go with twelve. Twelve is my max. So you're quitter. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> is that seven? 
<laughs> no, I dig more than seven. I think I don't know. I would, man. Let's get one in here. Let's see if it, see if it goes no, down. I, in I one think swat. it goes down on one yeah. swat. Okay. Like you're at least gonna. It's gonna be unconscious. You can stomp on it. Yeah, you're right. He's out of the fight for a bit. Yeah. I mean, you watch him fly into a fucking window, mm-hmm. and if they are alive, they're down for like ten minutes. Yeah, you're right. Then so I, like you know, you get a good stomp in on it in the melee. You're accidentally going to kill it when you yeah. step. I mean, I, yeah, you're right. I worry about my endurance. So <laughs> <laughs> How long? Like, well, I, I know, think that's why I got to like, get him down. If, early. if you can take, yeah, if you can take four or five on the backdrop. Mm-hmm. I don't think the endurance thing matters because you yeah. kind of just stay on your back mm-hmm. and kind of protect your <laughs> yeah, face. And, swat. and if they're going to come in now, they're going to fucking land on your gut. And yeah. Maybe go at your belly button. Maybe. I feel like you can get one from yeah. behind. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, now you're mm-hmm. in like mosquito mode of now yeah. they're pecking on me. Now I'm, yep. now I'm knocking you down. Yeah. Yeah. If you just pin them to your and then push your gut out mm-hmm. and just squeeze them. Yeah, but no, the endurance thing does. Cause I'm not <coughs> like I'm going to have to go to my back eventually. Yeah. Just to yeah, break, oh, yeah, just, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to be tired because I don't think I can because they can fly. You know, they, yeah. can, <coughs> they can come up and then come back well, down. Because for the most part, you're protected. Like hands up, hands overhead. Mm hmm. Yeah, and you can only just—I mean, not yeah. even doing anything. Just put your hands up to protect yourself. You can yeah. only hold them there for so long. That's a good point. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna have to hit. The, I'm gonna have to go to the back at least. I mean, they're not gonna have endless fucking energy either. It's yeah. not like they did a line of coke before they came over there to get you. That's a good point. Good point. I yeah. mean, it's standard bird rules. Okay. <laughs> okay. I feel like Where it's are they more. From? I think it's more in the twenties. Where are they from? I'm thinking South Michigan. Uh, maybe six. I don't even know if they have blue cheese. I don't, I don't, I don't know. Uh, I mean, if they're from like a hard part of town, I, it's food from scarce. Detroit. <laughs> they're, they're they're Chicago, coming through are they Chicago on, blue They're coming through on migration. Ooh, if they're tired, I think I could take them. But if they're local, I don't know, because they're... Well, we're going to have to go local. Okay. Ah, 12. I'm going to stick with 12. Oh, I, I think it's closer to 20. Okay. I, just in the fail swoop of like you might just smash five of them. Yeah, so now it's only you I know would take out because like, that, that's my whole thought like of a like a long plane kind of thing. Like so, you think you can take eleven of them? Yeah, but twelve will get you. I think so. Like I would be like, I mean, that's kind of a bitch thing. Yeah, like you don't think right. you can? Yeah, maybe twenty. Maybe twenty. Yeah, I, yeah, I mean, maybe come on. twenty. I think I could. Okay, I don't let's think go it with takes 20. as much to kill them as you think it does. Right. Yeah, let's go twenty because I think I can take out a handful of them. Maybe yeah. half. I mean, you're going to be bleeding for obviously you don't have hair, so yeah. it's, they're, That's, you're gonna yeah, they're going to be bleeding. Yeah, they're going to get my head pretty good. Because you're, you're gonna, they're going to take your sight away. Yeah. I'm not saying they're going to peck your eyes out. I think you can protect yourself, but like you're going to get blood in your eyes. Yeah, you're right. Because that forehead cut, mm-hmm. you know, they they're going to open head you up, be like fucking WWE. I yeah. mean, yeah. get a little juice working. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, let's go 20. I'll, I'll say 20. Yeah. yeah. 20 is going to take me down where I have to tap out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's... Now, I tell you what, <coughs> if I can take the biggest, baddest Blue Jay out first, I think I think I'll be okay. You think they're going to quit? Take the, take the leader, and they're, they're going to be like, oh my God, <laughs> <laughs> let's go away. Look what he did to Frank. Yeah, exactly. Nobody fucks with Frank, but this guy. <laughs> fucking went right at him. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't even fucking flinch. <laughs> We stand no, if Frank can't win, we have no chance. See you up there, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. I mean, if they all kamikaze me at once, I don't. I think it's going to be a trickle in. I mean, I don't think it's going to be a dive bomb. Like a wave, like yeah, three like or four gonna, at a time. They're going to they're gonna come on you. But <laughs> <laughs> you're also got to factor they're in gonna the fact they're going to shit on you. Yeah. <laughs> you said that's good luck, so I might be able to win this fight. I don't know if 20 shits is. <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah. Like, hey, that's how the, you know, maybe they shit on your head and that's how the fight starts. Maybe. Oh, yeah. Fucker you, like, swipe he, at them. Yeah. <laughs> and they're like, hey, fuck you. Yeah. Boys. Sw- he swapped at me. <laughs> Let's go get him. But I, yeah, I think 20. Okay. I mean, I'm interested to hear some feedback on this. Yeah. I, I, <clears throat> I don't know. Yeah, I I feel yeah. Like, could 20. you take more birds or more kindergartners? I feel like I could take more kindergartners than birds. Yeah, than birds because kindergartners aren't resilient. 
If I hit him well, in the what, face. How fucking resilient you think a bird is when you hit him? I don't know, but if I just you feel hit like. a bird in the face. I yeah, mean, but I watched a kindergartner cry because he didn't color right. So, yeah. I mean, I'm not like. Well, I, I understand if I that. Kick, if I, I kick mean, that kindergartner in the face, like he's done. Yeah. Yeah. So well, I think if you kick a bird in the face, he's <laughs> I can't done. Go, too. I don't know if I'm going to get my leg up there, you know? Kindergartner's only up to like my knee. Well, I mean, what if he's coming at your knees? Oh, yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. If, if like, can, I, I don't. I mean, I don't know how resilient you think birds are to body blows. Yeah. You're, I mean, you're right. I don't like, know. I think a big meat pole yeah. swap, like you, you get a good clap on them, yeah, palm in the they're hand, done. and they're done. Okay. You at least knock them out, and then you just step on them. Okay. Yeah. Like a fly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got to be okay with that crunch. That might, I mean, you got to think about that, too. Throw, like, throw, what's throw, that say uh, about the fucking kindergartners, though? Of like, I can only take 20 birds. I can take fucking 80 of you motherfuckers. I mean, that's weird. Super weird. Super weird. Like, how many kindergartners do you think you take? <laughs> 30. 30 or, 30 or 35, it's I like think. like 10 more than birds. Yeah. Oh, God, it's yeah. It's like blue jays, too. I mean, they're not big. I know they're not big, but I think it's all about reach. Like, Well, they can't reach. Like, I don't know. Like, like the birds got to well, be. like the kids, have though, to you're be, just kicking. Yeah. Like, you're not it, punching. I guess you. Yeah, you when know. my legs get tired, I'm fucking <laughs> wailing like on the, ground and pound. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> oh, Yes. But I feel like like these kindergartners got to be like coked out kindergartners because as soon as yeah. I do a fucking wheel kick and knock that kid's head off, like I don't know if the other twenty nine yeah. are gonna. Ugh, maybe we well, should strategize because like, you gotta. I mean, obviously, kindergartner way. You know, this is very well established. Mm-hmm. The way to do with the kindergartners is kind of like back yourself in a corner yeah. so they kind of have to single file you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe put them in a situation. <laughs> But it, it's got to be the same because you're not, you're getting attacked from everywhere with birds. birds. So that's why I think the I think you the know, back if, strategy. If it's a kindergartner thing, you're in the middle of a football field. You can't, they're coming at you from all angles. That would like be a two tough of those one. kids get a hold of your legs. You're not kicking anybody anymore. No, and if they're biters, yeah, yeah. I don't know. I still feel like I could take more kindergartners though. I think kindergartners. I, I feel. <laughs> boy, I don't know. You know. It, it all depends. Like, if two of those little fuckers can get a hold of your legs where they kind of sit on your foot and hold on, mm-hmm. you're fucked. Yeah. Because you can yeah. only do that for 10 seconds or but so before I, it's uh, fucking uh, over. Like, my ground game is not horrible. I feel like I could, even with the kindergartners, like... Like, we pile on? Yeah. Like, I, you might just be able to grab them and just roll on them? Yeah, I'm heavy. I mean, I could definitely do that. Squish them a bit. Maybe knock them out. Maybe they can't breathe. Yeah. Maybe give a... It's 2023. A couple of them probably have anxiety. So I'd probably... <laughs> Roll over. I'm like, I can't breathe. That's right, bitch. Go to sleep. <laughs> well, because that now you're first. Like I, I, I'm with you. Of up in the twenties on on the Blue Jay thing. Now I think your original number on the eleven or me at seven or whatever. I think like now you start getting into like fucking ravens. Okay, yeah, with a little you're, bit. Yeah, mm, they're a little more mean. A little more. I fucking got you. Like yeah. they'll take your fucking eye. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like a yeah. you know you know Blue Jays. They're gonna peck at your eye like a Ravens. Like give me that fucking eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right on that one. Like what? <sighs> what bird can't you take? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pterodactyl. <laughs> I mean, what small animal could you, do you think, like you flip over the, you know, if you can take 30 kindergartners. What small, like, what bro- small animal is it going to take more to overwhelm you? Like, you know, obviously, like fucking chipmunks. No, because I fight those little fuckers in that They're little quick. shed out there. I mean, they jump at your head. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Aggressive. Uh, they will get your testicles. <laughs> There's no way you're keeping them out of your pants. You're There's right. fucking no way. You're not way. wrong. I got joggers. Yeah. <laughs> Where are those? Like, I go fight what those we, you know, Or what's the number of like, hey, what little animal would I also say it'd take 30? Oh. So like kindergartners equate to. To this? That little animal? Fucking squirrels. Ooh, or you I feel know, like squirrels would. I feel like I, I would, squirrels. Uh, they get me because they bite. They bite. And I don't like getting yeah. bit. <laughs> well, I mean, the fucking kindergartner's gonna bite you too. <laughs> that like, Man, I, I don't like when fucking animals bite me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> nobody does. Uh, fucking tigers I, bite. I, <laughs> I hate that. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking assholes. Uh, 
I feel like I could take if I'm if thirty kindergartners to. <coughs> I have such a hatred for cats. I feel like I could take a couple of those. Like two cats? Um, or are you thinking? Well, you're saying that you're equating kindergartners to cats. Thirty cats. Yeah, mm, thirty think, cats fuck you up. You think so, dude? I'm gonna tell you what: three cats might fucking uh, will mm. tear your ass up. I. You know a guy too that he got his ass yeah, kicked by a right. fucking cat. Yeah, you're right. Okay, to, maybe not. To the let's point not bad cats. enough that they wrote about it in the fucking newspaper. Okay, let's not let's not go cats. <laughs> cats, okay, I, bad one, bad one. I think three would would get you. They'd cut your throat. <laughs> <laughs> and black cats. I mean they I, <laughs> they are perfect fucking killing machines. Yeah, they are. They're good killers. Okay. I I just ha- I kind of have a weird fear of raccoons. Oh yeah. So I don't want to fight them. I feel like they would take. I, yeah, I don't think it'd take thirty of them. No, like they'd get you. They'd good. get me good. Possums aren't that mean, though. I feel like I might no. be able to take a couple possums, but I'd re- I had to have like a flashlight or something. Cause... You would know because they'd be faking it. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, what if I scared them good enough? I'd <laughs> fucking stomp them. Ah, you know. I don't know. Like, I feel like they... thirty squirrels is too much. Yeah, I think There's they would. Too much. They would definitely destroy me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Chipmunk wise, I don't know. Because they're kind of <sighs> like mice. Like, you yeah. kill them pretty easy. Yeah. They're like fucking wiener dogs. <laughs> I got bit by a wiener dog one time. <laughs> Jumped up, bit me right on the ass cheek. So. <laughs> nope. I owe a couple. They're going to get me. Get <laughs> I owe a couple. It's dead now, so. Yeah, I think, you know, like <sighs> the tree. The tree loving animals are the toughies. They like are. They're fucking climbing. They got yeah, claws and they and can, biters. Do they jump? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Good kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're about a kindergartner. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see if you can take it, son. Let's see. One boot to the face. <laughs> yeah, he's a tough little bastard. He'd take a, take a couple of shots. Yeah, he's got dead noggin. Yeah. <laughs> he's good. Yeah, I don't uh, know, animal-wise. It, animal it, it wise. means to equate to a kindergartner. Yeah. It'd be something that it's just the volume of it, but, like, non-vicious. Yeah. But they'd just smother you. hmm I think I could take 30 hamsters. Well, what if one got in your butthole? <laughs> I think I could take You'd it. You'd be coming. I'd poop. <laughs> just poop, poop it out. Just poop on you. Poop on you. Yeah, maybe guinea pigs. Guinea 30 pigs. guinea pigs. 30 guinea pigs, yeah. Yeah. No, I think I could do that. I think I could take 30 fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not in the water. Kick the water <laughs> <Yeah>. over. <laughs> uh, <coughs> is, there a, is there an animal like we have around here like you don't even want to fight one of? Or two? Like I've... <laughs> I mean, I've gotten in a fight with a groundhog before. They're mean. They'll put up a fight. Yeah, I mean, I kicked him. Yeah? Like, right in the face. Nice. And he just he growl at you? Well, that was kind of it. Oh. Well, you he got had him. enough. Yeah. Oh, he didn't die. No, <laughs> oh, you okay. can't. You're yeah, not going to kick that fucking thing. I mean, yeah, I was gonna say. He, he scattered off. Yeah. But I feel like I got the better of the exchange. I think, I mean, if he scattered off, he ran like a little bitch. Um, I kind of like that coon thing. Yeah. Because they... Yeah. They scamper. I know a guy that got his ass kicked There's, by a coon, too. I, I don't do scrappy. I don't like scrappy. I know a few too. He was was at his girlfriend's house. He left the fucking window down on his car. (laughs) When he like two in the morning, he came out and got in. There's a fucking coon in the back. Oh god! Just Just attacked him. It fucking jumped and beat the fuck out of him. It fucking scratches all over his face. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't know. It's a tough... 
I don't, yeah, just, I don't want to fight any raccoons. Yeah, they're not. I feel like I could take. Well, because they're they're gonna scratch you. Mm-hmm. But they have enough. Like they're gonna like work around you and get in the middle of your You're, back. Yeah, and you won't be able and to. You, nothing you can fucking do. You can try to drop yeah. them, but I don't know that that'll no. kill them. No. Yeah, no, it might be just piss them off more. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because I watched one get <laughs> shot like three times, and it just kept on, like, yeah. kept walking. I was like, Jesus God, it's like a cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking won't die. Uh, yeah, I don't know, small animal-wise. I mean, possums, obviously, they're easy. You pull their tail off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to touch their tail. <laughs> Can I fight it with gloves on? Yeah. <laughs> Ugh, it feels like a human. <laughs> How many birds if you had a fucking... Two tennis rackets. <laughs> oh. Just depends on how tough that tennis racket is. Yeah. Because if I, you know, swipe one good one and it pops through, I'd have to really, you know, turn it sideways and hit it with the, the metal part. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Small, small game-wise, I don't know. You get out in the wild, I mean. Yeah, you'd be surprised if you could kill. Yeah. You know, you get a turkey. Like a goose, you grab it. Goose, Goose will fuck you up, but if you, can, if you can grab it by its head, you can give, give yeah. it a quick snap. Mm-hmm. They'll cut you up, too. Yeah. That little fucking talon kind of thing mm-hmm. going on. They'll fucking swipe you. Yeah, I, I only had, I've only had a couple, like, hiss at me. I've never really got any I've more than chased. that. Have you been chased? Uh, well, driving on a golf cart and be close enough where they start flying. flying at, not yeah. really getting chased. I mm-hmm. just continued going where I was going. <laughs> yeah. And well, I swiped at him. I, yeah. I touched his head. I almost had him, but... yeah. You know, he lived. Yeah, he lived. Lived to see another they're day. little kids. Yeah. You know. Maybe don't do it on a golf course. Yeah. Asshole. Yeah. Plenty of other places. Go to the refinery like the rest of them. Yeah. Like every other animal <laughs> yeah. here. It's fenced in. Fenced in. Bunch of fucking deer. And- yeah. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I, I yeah. think. Yeah. So, so 20 birds. Yeah, you take 30 kindergartners for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Probably 15 wiener dogs. Mm. I feel like they're scrappy, though. Yeah, they're scrappy, but I feel like you'd break their backs pretty easily. Yeah, you're right. You know, you're going to get, before the bites start really getting... It's hurt and hurtful. Yeah. Yeah. But anything bigger than a wiener dog, they're going to... They're going to get me? They're going to get you. Yeah. You might be like 18 of those little Yorkshire Terriers. Yeah. I don't know enough dog <laughs> breeds to say, oh, I can take that one. There's a couple of ones that like my buddy has had when they were a kid or when we were kids in high school. Like, like little shit kicker dogs. Yeah. Like, I feel like I could take a couple of them. Yeah. Just because I didn't like the way they looked. Yeah. Pretty easy. Mm-hmm. But cats though. They got it in their fucking mind. I don't know that you yeah. take. I don't know that you take one. <laughs> it's just. Mm, that's it. Yeah. You're right. It's the amount of blood. Yeah. <laughs> was, yeah. I My. The cat that we have. I mean. Yeah. Uh, it's different. It's different. Yeah. It's different. House cat. Yeah. I don't think I could take any tigers. <laughs> no. I heard somebody talking about it like they, oh, I fucking think I'd hold my own for a bit against a gorilla. What? No. No. no what? Nope. Nope. Not even a little. I don't think I would hold my own against just a regular monkey. No. They're so much stronger than you. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> much stronger than you. Yes. Like a chimp would beat my ass. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like he was talking about on Friends, like the little monkey that used yeah. to be on Friends. Like, he would fuck you. He'd rip your face off. Oh, for sure. Easily. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, what's this? Yeah. <laughs> they always go after your penis. They will always rip your dick off. Really? Yeah. Hmm. Rip your dick and balls off. That's kind of their... That's their motive? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of a thing, too, like out in the wild of like when they get... Genitals? In, yeah. When they have like gang fights, mm-hmm. the rip, you know, you're trying to... Th- trying to bang, bang my bitches mm. you gotta be dick. dick off yeah that's right yeah i Makes think there's been like people that had pets that have had their dicks ripped off hmm. that they'll look that up but i <laughs> feel like that's happened i know a lady had her face ripped off by a monkey yeah yeah like in massachusetts or something probably didn't like her accent yeah <laughs> get in the car <laughs> <laughs> fuck you bitch <laughs> going to the harbor with socks. <laughs> <laughs> Baby's gonna miss the game. <laughs> uh, 
It's my monkey. Don't put it down. You don't have a face anymore, lady. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, kill it. <laughs> what is it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. All right. Well, I think that's going to end the episode. If you have any animals that you'd like us to talk about fighting, please let us know. <laughs> Wide side. <laughs>